Let's do this. All right, welcome back. Welcome back to XCOM Long War. Uh, hopefully everything is working all right. It looks like the mic is working okay. So here we go. Yeah, the mic was uh, not working properly at first, uh, so I had to make that change, but um, it's working now. We're good to go. <clears throat> uh, time to get back into it. Uh, so welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. Um, I had to take a couple of days off because um, there's just some, unfortunately I'm dealing with some stuff and um, on top of that, like the depression and anxiety got really, really bad. Uh, so I needed some time away and uh, I apologize for, for not being here because I really want to be here and I really want to have fun uh, with all of you and, and you know, just enjoy the game and enjoy the company and everything. Uh, and it just, you know, it took me away from it for 
a couple of days. I've actually taken more days off this in this past month, about a month, that than uh, than I ever really wanted to, and I am sorry about that. Um, I'm really sad about that uh, that it came down to it. But we're back, and we're gonna have some fun today. Now, if anybody has any questions or anything, um, anything to say, anything they'd like to talk about, by all means, I'm here. Um, you can you can reach me here on the stream. We can chat uh, live on the stream. We can talk over Discord, whatever the case may be. Uh, but please understand that, uh, as with everything, um, you're not alone. So if you're dealing with uh, similar darkness, if you're dealing with your own stuff, um, you're not alone. So we're going to try and have some fun together and uh, and see what we can do here in XCOM. Uh, so XCOM today, um, probably Bloodborne again tomorrow, and then XCOM multiplayer on Sunday. And, uh, well, multiplayer of whatever kind. We're going to do multiplayer. Um, it's a multiplayer day, so if anybody has something that they want to play, uh, play together, let me know. Uh, but we're going to start off with XCOM, see if anybody's interested, and in between any kind of multiplayer, anything that we do, uh, we'll do some achievement hunting in XCOM again. I think I'm missing a total of 18 achievements altogether. Um, some of them are really, real simple, real easy uh, to understand, not to do, but to understand at least. Uh, some of them are, are real simple, if not easy. Uh, like finish a game in classic, finish a game in impossible, um, and then you have to do one of them is like finish a campaign on classic or higher, uh, so classic or impossible, Iron Man. So we're going to do that as well. Uh, we're not doing that yet, but we'll do that at some point. Anywho, Unchained, how's it going? <laughs> How you doing, Unchained? I hope you're having a good day. Uh, my man stops streaming for three days and somehow grows a full beard, deposes two world leaders, and single-handedly cures all mankind of rickets. <laughs> this vitamin D ray, the legend. <laughs> that is the legend of Kapow, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd be able to accomplish all of that, um, especially without Kapow's help. Uh, but anyway, yes, I need a haircut so badly. I really do. I'm hoping to go out and get a haircut this weekend. Um, I, It's either that or do it myself here. So, I don't know. We'll see. But one way or another, you might end up seeing a, a really, I don't know, poorly done haircut uh, sometime over the next few days. Um, or you'll see a fairly okay one, fairly decent one. But we'll see. <laughs> Just enjoy it while you have it, friend. Fair enough. Fair enough. <clears throat> okay, well, let's figure out where we are. So, <clears throat> yeah, I really feel bad about not streaming the last few days, but uh, things have been pretty rough here, so, uh, so you know, <sighs> and I haven't been sleeping well either. That's the other part of it. I have not been sleeping well at all at all. I need to get that under control somehow. Um, let's see. We're doing the ex interrogate muton. Uh, request from Asia is expiring. What is that? Thin man corpses. Okay. I don't know if we should do the thin man corpses. I'm not sure. Sleep's always been your bugbear. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately sleep is really, really difficult for me most of the time as well. It's definitely a big bugbear for me. Uh, let's see. 18 Thin Man Corpses for a Corporal? I don't know. I mean... I suppose it's better than getting a Rookie, but you never know what we're going to end up with, so... That's... A thing? We've already got one Corporal that we need to promote, who isn't very good across the board. I mean... Um, meh, aim. Uh, 39 will is pretty decent. 11 move and 3 health is just horrible. Really, really bad. 
So, <clears throat> I, you know, Sniper really is what comes to mind here. Other than that, I honestly don't know. It's sniper or... Oh, see, I just, I don't want another infantry right now. I mean, scouts out of the picture. Rocketeer, I mean, with that move? Yikes. <clears throat> uh, gunner, same thing. I mean, the move's not so important, but the health, yeesh, no. Medic, not really, the move is crap. Um, engineer, eh, not really, again, the move is crap. Definitely not an assault, so, yeah, I mean, Sniper really is the only one I can think of for Mik Mikhailov uh, Mikhailovsky. Mikhail Mikhailovsky. I love it. Long shot, yep. <clears throat> yeah, I think he was meant to be a sniper. And we could do that. We could do a sniper. Uh, we could do a sniper and actually train him up to be uh, maybe even a mech. You know, since his health and his move is so bad, just train him up to be a mech. <clears throat> I want to see who we get with this. I want to see who we can end up with. Uh, with the Thin Man corpses. I'm going to... I think I'm going to cheese the game here. Just for a second. See who we get by fulfilling this. And if it's somebody really crappy, I'll just reload. I am curious. Who did we get? We got... Utemprit Daffy Mozara. Alright. Okay, Will... Good move, crap health, and crap aim. So, ooh, this person, an assault? Maybe? I mean, that aim is pretty bad. So the only thing I can really think of here is an assault. It was a lot of corpses. I know, it was a ton of corpses, which is why I was just, I just wanted to see who we might get. And obviously that could change every time you reload, right? So you could keep doing it and keep reloading until you get the soldier that you want. I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going to use those corpses for this. 18 corpses for that character, for that soldier? Meh. No. No. So we'll just reload. We'll forget about that. We'll let that expire. That's fine. Uh, the other request is Illyrium. 30 Illyrium for 300 credits. That's a good deal of money, right? But it's also a good deal of Illyrium. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> They'd just be living in the shadow of Longshot Lofsky, yes. <laughs> Lofsky. Lofsky. Um, yeah, I think we're going to skip the Thin Man one. Uh, let's see, when is the satellite coming up? So we have our Nexus in six days. As soon as the Nexus is done, I'm going to spend all of these credits. But until then, I really can't. I need to wait, because we have to do a whole bunch of foundry projects, and it's there's no point in doing them right now before the six days, before the Nexus is ready. Uh, we have to scan for Exalt on the 9th, it looks like. So I guess we just start scanning. One Thin Man captive for two scientists. I might. I might do that. Because... We only have one Thin Man captive left, but I think we've done the interrogation already. Pretty sure we've done the interrogation. Uh, not research credits. Archives. Interrogate Thin Man, yep. Yeah, so we don't need it anymore, really, for anything other than request. Uh, 
Uh, where is it? This one. Two scientists. Sure, why not? That leaves us I with 93 your to scientists. The research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. That is a quite a few scientists at the moment. Contact detected. Nape of the Earth large. I'm going to ignore it because we are not going to be able to take it down. Interrogate Muton is done. So we've got Gauss Weaponry Research Credit, which means the Phoenix Coil Guns, I think, we get pro uh, credit for that project. I think. Where do we keep them all? Are they all on site? Yeah, I know. That's a good question. Because it, we have that alien containment facility, but like, do we keep them all in the one place? How big is that room? Do we just have a whole bunch of jail cells? Yeah, are they crammed into a single room? I have no idea. They're crammed into a single facility. Oh, the 93 scientists? Yeah, the 93 scientists. That's, that's a good question. Do we have a barracks that we can keep them in? I think I want to do compact, uh, compact plasma weapons. The problem is the weapon fragments. I was saving them for advanced plasma. Hold on, how many fragments do we have? Um, I'm not sure. You know, I'm going to interrogate the sectoid first. We'll do that one first. I want to take a look and see how many weapon fragments we have. I would like to do the advanced plasma first, and then uh, move on from there. It's a lot of weapon fragments. We've got 165 at the moment. Okay. How many people do we employ just around the cafeteria at this point? I don't know. Good question. We have, what, 93 scientists, 68 engineers. And that's, between these, that's not even considering any of the maintenance staff that we have. Like cafeteria staff, like, you know, janitors, anybody, right? I'm sure those engineers aren't all um, maintenance people as well. Like, I don't think they double up. But then we also have anybody that works in the control room. Yeah, there's a lot of people in here. Shen has to do it all. <laughs> yeah, Shen gets a call every time a toilet gets backed up. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, and then you, you you have to imagine that there are workers who continuously monitor the different power facilities and and all of that stuff as well. Where is our barracks? It's up here, isn't it? Technically? Well, this is the med bay. There's a workout room. I think the barracks is meant to be off here. Like, the different doors here lead into uh, various different sleeping quarters. I know this is a bunch of bunk beds. But that's nowhere near enough. There's got to be plenty more behind this. Then what is this? Drinks. Okay. A drinks machine. Leather sofas. Hopefully they didn't skin the aliens to make those. Jeez. Coffee machine. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. They have the original XCOM on an arcade machine here. I forgot about that. That's awesome. XCOM, they call it XCOM Fighter Alpha, though. Try to get a, a look at it, kind of, sort of. <laughs> nice. Unless those bunks are mighty cozy. Hey, uh, you never know. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but doesn't look like they would be anyway one coffee machine for the whole place and it's never empty yeah I know no kidding and then what 
is this? Is this supposed to be my office? Or like Bradford's office? Either way. And then this is some kind of conference room? Kind of? Anywho, getting lost in the map here. Uh, so, we fulfilled the request for scientists. I think that's it. I think we're just gonna scan. Let this UFO land. Or not. Um, heavy UFO activity over India, and then I don't know what just happened. I right-clicked to, tr to get out of here. Ah, our research finished. Gotcha. Cybernetics research credit earned. Okay. Still such a sumptuous game for its time. I remember my jaw dropping the base view. Yes, Unchained. Yeah, absolutely. I remember that too. Seeing this and like being able to zoom in uh, and check out all the different parts of the base and everything. I spent quite a bit of time doing that when I first got this game. I remember that. It, and especially because it's such a huge difference between, you know, this and the original. Granted, you know, obviously a bunch of years in between the two. Um, but the fact that you could get a 3D-ish view of your, your base and, you know, actually zoom in on your soldiers doing something in the base. It was just so cool. It was awesome. Anywho, um, I think we're just going to continue with the autopsies at this point, I guess. Because I don't want to do alien operations yet. Because we're not going to assault a base, right? Ah, uh, thank you for following Crimson Howling. How's it going? Crimson Howling, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for the follow. Kapow and I appreciate it immensely. Um, I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're having fun. And I hope we can uh, prevent an alien invasion together. <laughs> welcome. Oh, let's see. Chrysalid Autopsy, Cyberdisc, Mectoid. I think... I think I'm gonna go with the chrysalid. Because I don't want to do alien operations yet. Um, it, it, we're not ready. We're not ready to do a base assault. Uh, I'm not ready to craft a skeleton key. Nothing yet. So we'll, we'll hold off on this for a little bit longer. I want to do a couple of the foundry projects first. And we need, the science, we need some satellites up before we do those. Compact plasma weapons I would love to do, but it's so many weapon fragments. I, I want to do advanced plasma first, so we can get the rifles. So let's wait and we'll do this one as soon as we get enough weapon fragments. We'll do a chrysalid autopsy. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. All right, fair enough. We've been calling it that for quite a while, but thank you, Valen. Thank you for the update. Uh, nothing needs repair, so we're good there. I would like to augment another soldier or two, but I think we need to level them up first. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by There's for one launch. satellite. We are ready to deploy There's it two. Under order. There's three. Autopsy's almost done. Here we go. Uh, Universe Antimatter, how you doing? Hello. Hope you're having a good day. It is very good to see you. Chitin plating is now available for manufacture. And chitin plating is decent. I mean, I, I just don't know if I'm going to make any or many. So I'm not sure. I don't want to do the Cyberdisc or Mectoid quite yet, I don't think. Let me check. Achievements? No, not today. Not today, Universe Antimatter. Um, so, achievement hunting is going to be on uh, Sundays. Going to be doing some uh, achievement hunting on Sunday. If I can get achievements during Long War, and you know we run into a situation where it's possible, by all means, I'll, I'll do it. But um, I have it set up so that in between multiplayer, you know, anything in, on Sunday... Uh, I'll be doing achievement hunting. And we're going to do it using 
uh, the base enemy within game, not long worm. So I've got a whole other campaign set up for that. And reloads galore on that one. I'm going to be reloading constantly to try and get whatever achievements I can. At least at first, because one of the achievements I need is Iron Man mode. So we'll do that. Um, I think I'm going to go with advanced power armor here. Because Cyberdisk and Mechtoid... I'm going to take a real quick look at the UFOpedia. I don't think they give us anything that I really want right this second. But let me find out. I was going to ask you to play uh, Long War Rebalance, but you are already far into the campaign. Yes, yes. Quite far into the campaign at the moment. So, um, And as far as I understand, Long War Rebalanced, it's harder. So I'm, I'm really leery about getting into Long War Rebalanced until I get a better handle on Long War. I don't know. We'll see. Because so far, I'm not, I, I'm not even playing on a high difficulty on Long War. I'd rather get better at that and then go into Rebalanced. Unless I'm mistaken, but it seems like, like Rebalanced is actually harder. Let me see... Mechtoids and cyber disks. What do I need them for? Mechtoid autopsy, advanced servo motors. Okay, for mechtoids. Cyber disk rec needs advanced flight, penetrator weapons. Yeah, I'm not going to do that yet. Defense matrix opens up with the cyber disk. So that might uh, might be a decent thing to do. Penetrator weapons I already have. Because we that's how we started the campaign. We started with the penetrator weapon selection. But the mechanized unit defenses and... Well, advanced flight we're not going to need for a while. So we'll see. Long war rebalance mechanics are entirely different. It's not exactly harder. Normal on LWR is... Uh, is easier then Long War Normal. Classic's about the same. Brutal is about Long War Impossible, and LWR Impossible is harder than LW Impossible. Gotcha. Okay. That's good to know. Crimson. This is easily my favorite XCOM game. Adding the mech troopers and gene mods was a great expansion of the game. It was. Oh, absolutely. By comparison, XCOM 2 was a letdown after what we got with this. I will say there are some mechanics in... XCOM 2 that I'm really happy with, uh, that I wish were in this, but but ultimately, I think overall, I kind of agree with you. But we'll see. I mean, I haven't, I actually haven't gotten into um, Long War 2, so I maybe Long War 2 fixes and adds a lot of the things in XCOM 2 that I wanted. I don't know. Um... Give me one more moment here. I just want to check the research page on UFOpedia for, <clears throat> for what it does. The Cyberdisc and Mectoid autopsies. Pectal sensors, auto sentry turret, and iron skin. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to hold off on those for just for now, for just a little bit longer. And I think we'll go with Powered Armor. Advanced Power Armor. Because, you know, 40 Illyrium, 20 Alloys, we can spare that right now. That's fine. I should do the Mectoid and Cyberdisc autopsies, though, just to get some extra damage on them. So I might do that soon. I, I'm definitely going to do it before we do any base assault. There we go. Uplink targeting... Uh, targeting uplinks are done. Five alloys, five Illyrium rebate. Here's the Scilab. Nice. Two is just pure kitchen sinkism, in your opinion? Unchained? Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, carry on. So, let's start getting some soldiers trained Scilab-wise. 
There's one guy who plays something called Beyond Impossible. It's basically Long War Impossible on, st on steroids. He tried using LW strats on LWR Impossible and got destroyed. So you, even if you're a god at LW, you have to learn new things. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so, there are people I want to train as Psy Soldiers. One of them being... Filipovic. So we're going to get Filipovic in there. Everybody loves mechs and gene mods. Let's give each soldier individual weapons of their own gene mods and, and mech suits. Yeah, I know. No kidding. It was interesting. It was an interesting idea, but still. Uh, Filipovic, what do I want to do with you? Do we want regen biofield? Which makes sense for him being a medic. Uh, neural feedback, eh, I don't know, I don't know. And mind fray. Uh, universe, can I have a soldier? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely you can have a soldier, why not? Um, anybody who follows the channel is, uh, is absolutely eligible for a soldier, so as long as you're following the channel, by all means, let me know. Um, let me know what class you want, or if you have any specific preferences. Like, even if you don't have a preference for class, if you have a preference for male or female, if you have a preference for uh, nationality, whatever. Whatever your preference is, let me know. Uh, it can be as specific or as simple as you want. And absolutely, we'll get you in here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Jeez. So, what do I want to do with Filipovic here? <laughs> Just don't pick that bum Mikhailovsky. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, universe male, no specific class. You got it. Um, <clears throat> Alright, well, give me just a second here. And let me take a look. <clears throat> well, let me figure out what to make Filipovic first. Regen Biofield... Uh, I kind of like this one for him. I mean, Mind Fray is awesome and would absolutely help him be effective because right now his aim is meh, his health is horrible, his move is bad, his will is good. So Mind Fray would help him do stuff on the battlefield. Neural Feedback, eh. I don't know, we'll see. And then Regen Biofield, I just think fits, you know, what he is. Fits a mech, a medic, right? I think I might go with Mind Fray. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with Mind Fray. Regen does sound great, and um, I don't know, it. the difference though, see the problem I have with Regen is that it doesn't heal up armor damage, it only does health. So if you, if you have, yeah I could take him out, uh, if you have, let's say, five, six health, whatever, right? And then on top of that, you have, right now, our armor is pretty good. We have the, uh, the Aegis armor, and that gives seven health. So we're getting close to the end game armors. So we get seven extra health from that. If you take more than seven damage, that's the only time the regen kicks in. Um, but before that, if you're taking less than seven damage, you know, it doesn't do anything. Regen doesn't actually heal up that armor damage. That's the problem I have with re uh, with Regen. But also, the fact that Filipovic is not really very useful on the battlefield. Uh, where is he? He's down here. Filipovic isn't very useful on the battlefield because his abilities... He really doesn't have anything to make him super useful. He's just got Steadfast, Revive. I was giving him all the will-granting abilities. 
just to get his will as high as possible because I want to get him to the very end game uh, have ha you know have some really ridiculously high will and maybe have him have a chance of mind controlling ethereal or something like that you know but we'll see we'll see how high his will can actually get so in battle he's not super useful so I thought maybe giving him mind fray would make him that much more useful I think for anybody else, any other medic that we make into a Psy Soldier, I think I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna give them regen. Most of our medics are officers, though. Speaking of, I have a lieutenant billet open. Can we promote anyone else? Sareva can't be promoted yet, and roast beef is not anywhere near being promoted. Need to be corporal or higher. And have five missions? I think? Pretty sure. Five missions. So that's that. Uh, Psy Labs. Who else? Who else do we put in the Psy Lab? I think I'm going to put a scout or two. I might put a scout or two in the Psy Lab. Who else would be good? You know, since we, most of the time, we keep our gunners with the rest of the squad, we could probably give a gunner a uh, regen biofield. Or infantry, even. Give them regen biofield. The extra fatigue that you get from being a Psy Soldier is a concern. But other than that... Hmm. I think... A scout with mind fray would be decent. And a gunner with regen biofield would be decent. Sanusi's got a 49 for Will. The Sconsolos has a 50. It's not bad. Delgado. Uh, Patterson's got a 63 at Tech Sergeant. What was I going to do with Patterson, though? I think Patterson was... Patterson was bordering on getting mecked. Just simply because of his skill choices. His ability choices. I messed them up. That was my fault. Uh, Delgado and Sanusi both have a 49. We could give them some passive abilities, just, you know, like uh, regen biofield. Maybe even distortion field, that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not sure what other passive abilities we might be able to find here, but at least these two. Regen Biofield and Distortion Field. I kind of like that. What does Vesconsolos have? And then Patterson. What does Patterson have? Patterson... That's the one I screwed up on this. Patterson has Covering Fire, and I don't want it. I want something else. I want either flush or hollow. Patterson is okay on his aim. And I wish I could change that. I just, for some reason, the dev console wasn't working for me. I'm sure I did it wrong, but yeah, the dev console, for whatever reason, 
just wasn't working. And where is it? So the will doesn't matter so much, I would assume here. If all I'm doing is giving him passive, giving him or her passive abilities, the will isn't going to matter. So yeah, let's give Ankobaya... Actually, wait. She... I'm not going to give it to her yet. Let's give it to... She is the closest to the next rank. 7 and 13. How many... She's got 78 aim. 78 aim. 8 hit points versus 7. 11, 13. 49 versus 39. You know, let's do it. Let's do it. Ankobaya. There you go. Regen biofield. 10 days training. So, we're going to be without a gunner for 10 days. That's fine. And is there another one I can send in for training? Martinez, I wish. I wish you could send them in for training officers. That would be amazing. It'd be overpowered, sure. Uh, Yernazarov could go in and, like, get Mind Fray or something. That would be interesting. Let's hold off, though. I'll save the game here. And let's scan. Got a bunch of people returning to active duty. Nape of the Earth, very large. Yeah, we're definitely not taking him down. Commander, by ignoring these UFO Swarming contacts... Swarming terror mission. We're putting our entire satellite network at risk. Bradford, it wasn't going after a satellite. It was landing. We know this. We know it was landing. So it's a swarming terror mission. Do we have the Jaeger available? No. Oh, 10 hours. All right, can we get the Jaeger in time? I believe this is 24 hours? Yes. Contact detected. Low, small scout. We're going to take this one down. <clears throat> what if... Hmm. What if we get another kill on the captain here? Make, it, uh, make them into a major. I think we could do that. Let's go up on defensive. No, let's go up on balanced. Let's go up on balance. Try to take him down. Let's see if we can get a hit first. Back out. Approaching target now. Disengaging. Here we go. Contact detected. Oh, he already went back to base. Yikes. Because we were so close to base, he made it. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Alright, let's send a brief. That was an oops. I didn't think he'd make it back to base that quick. Oh, well. So he shot him down. We took a bit of damage. <clears throat> How long are we out for on this one? Seven days. Because of course we are. That's okay. That's right. We can be down one aircraft for seven days. <clears throat> 21 hours left on the swarming terror mission. Up to bats. I love that. I absolutely love that pilot. Jang return to duty. Martin Moore. Van Damme. That's who we were looking for. 
so Van Dam is back. There's our Jaeger. Our first Master Sergeant. Jang is our second Master Sergeant. He was the second one to hit. I kind of don't want to take him, to be honest, but uh, the Jaeger is just way too powerful. Let's take Van Dorn. And let's grab the Jaeger. Let's take a Gunner. Hmm. Clark? We could take Clark. How about an engineer? Ibanez, what do you have? Ah, you were suppression and mayhem. Smoke and mirrors. I'm not sure about Ibanez. Maybe, but there's we're gonna take an engineer of some sort. I just don't know if it's gonna be Ibanez. Here. I think we're gonna go with vital point targeting. Because vital point targeting and in the zone are going to mesh really, really well together. Lock and load would as well. But this is going to make sure that we get the kills. Lock and load just gives us extra shots, right? So it's fine. But if need be, we can always use a command for that as well. So... I think we're going with vital point targeting. And your loadout. Oh, I love the mech. Absolutely love the mech. <clears throat> Make items available. Don't want to forget that. We kind of need that. Uh, Clark is already set up. Van Dorn. You are going to have Aegis, you're going to have... I don't know if we're going to give you the alloy cannon. I think I might just give you a Gauss rifle. And we'll probably give you another battle scanner. <clears throat> Maybe two battle scanners? I honestly don't know. Maybe. <clears throat> Might end up with two battle scanners there. Infantry Gamede is coming. Oh, Kim. Ooh, we could take Kim. I think we might take Kim instead of Gamede. And I definitely want an assault. I might want two. <coughs> Ugh. You're Nazarov. Uh, let me select Jang's ability. What do we give you? Or take a look at it anyway, at least. Lightning reflexes, vital point targeting, or extra conditioning. That vital point targeting would be really, really nice with the way you're set up right now. Get some really, really nice crits. <clears throat> Extra conditioning is good, but I don't know that we need it on Zhang right now. He's got 10 base health, which is phenomenal. Yeah, I think we're going to give vital point targeting. We'll make Zhang a powerhouse in damage. Jang was out for a bit because he did take some damage, but normally doesn't really take a whole lot of damage. <clears throat> and uh, Lightning Reflexes... It would be great. But it's going to be situational for my assaults. And I just don't want to put Jang at risk like that. Let's do Vital Point Targeting. There you go. You're good. So, now the question is, who do we take as our uh, 
uh, our officer for this mission. Do we take Martinez? Martinez, I think I'm going to save for when we take lower ranked people because she's got the experience bo uh, bonus. <clears throat> we could take Nikolova. Or we could take one of our lower ranked uh, officers. Maybe Jalal? I'm pretty sure I want to take an officer. Reduce the fatigue time, if nothing else. Martin Moore is very, very helpful. But, yeah, I think we're going to take Jalal. <laughs> Roast beef! Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, saw you were streaming earlier, and I actually I watched a bit. Um, so I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Uh, thank you for streaming, and uh, I hope you had a lot of fun. I'm doing okay. I am... I'm here. Uh, we'll put it that way. I'm still dealing with some pretty pretty serious depression uh, and anxiety. Anxiety is less than the depression at this point, but still dealing with some pretty dark uh, times. But we're here. We're here, and we're trying to have fun. Thank you for asking. Uh, let's see. Kim is an easy loadout. Heavy Goss Rifle. Targeting module, since he's a crit infantry. And scope. Here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in your playthrough. I want to see how the, the Goss Rush goes. Um, you're doing really well so far, so... <clears throat> it's good to see. Uh, we're going to do a Goss Rifle, that's for sure. Probably... Aegis. I think we have enough? For Jalal. And then just med kit and a smoke grenade, most likely. You're in Zero's an easy loadout. You get an Aegis, you get an alloy cannon, and then targeting module and breaching ammo. I think I might want to take another uh, assault. I think. It's a pleasure. I enjoy it. Hope it gets better for you. Thank you, Grossby. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. Um, we still have to give Universe a soldier. So we're going to figure that out before the mission as well. <clears throat> um, let's see. What else? Another assault. Lawson, perhaps? Or Friendly. Friendly's a really good assault. Not as good a move as Lawson, but... Otherwise, pretty decent. Uh, now let's take Lawson. Let's take Lawson. We're going to take some of our best people on this mission. Alloy cannon. Targeting module, since you're... Yeah, you're specialized in crits. <clears throat> and then... Yeah, also, Long War never goes well. I'm still raging at the death yesterday. I saw that. I did see that. That was unfortunate. That move by... Um, if I remember correctly, it was the, uh, unless you're talking about a different death, it was the outsider that moved up far, farther than I thought he would move to, uh, to flank your, was it an assault, I think, um, in the UFO. Yeah, the outsider that moved up to flank and ended up getting a kill that way, that sucked. That was so bad. <clears throat> Um, I don't know what else to give you. Maybe a motion tracker for Lawson. I I might do something else, but I need to put a motion tracker on somebody, and right now you're the best candidate. I would like another, since it's a swarming terror mission, I would like another uh, battle scanner thrower, and so that would be Ibanez. But if I do give it to Ibanez, that means we have one smoke grenade, and I'm a little iffy about that. I don't know about one smoke grenade, but we'll see. <coughs> Jeez, sorry about the throat clears. 
Uh, carapace armor. We'll go with Gauss rifle. We could do a battle scanner. That's two. What about the medic? Medic can't do a battle scanner, right? That is a no. Okay. Uh, I'm just, I'm really leery about the amount of smoke grenades. I would love to take chem, a chem grenade on this mission. Hmm. Scouts and engineers, right? That's what I thought. <clears throat> All right. I might leave it the way it is. Three smoke grenades is fine. Um, I don't think we need three smoke grenades. In fact, we could probably take this and make it into a chem on the medic. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to go with. Let's make sure everybody has armor. They do. Everybody has Goss. They do. All right, let me save it. We'll save. Right down here. <clears throat> yeah, it's such a merciless game. Mistakes will be punished. They will. Absolutely. Oh, mistakes get punished like nobody's business. Let's give this a try. Pardon me while I blow my nose. Deployment strike one. Apologies, it's this cold weather does this to me. Winter always does this. Yikes. Okay. Begin assault. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Yeah, not my favorite map. It's not the bad. It's not horrible, depending on where they start us. City limits. But if you can't prevent them from terrorizing eh. the local populace. Panic is going to spread throughout the region. <clears throat> well, I'll settle down and watch someone else fight a terror mission. Oh, I am so sorry, Universe. Uh, we did not give you your soldier. I am so sorry. I forgot. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm but, how about this? If we get somebody who piques my interest during the mission, maybe we can name one of those soldiers when they're done with the mission. Oh, I can't believe I forgot. Actually, you know what? Screw that. <laughs> I'm going back real quick. Um, I'm going to... No, I don't want to go back because we're, we're already in the mission. But I need to save, at least anyway. Uh, where do we save? How about here? Also, this one may have a surprise for you. Okay. Interesting. Uh, if we capture Muton, we can name it after. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, on Jade. Um, let's see. Kim, I'm not moving you first. We'll move Van Dorn. Now, Van Dorn does have concealment, so we could theoretically move Van Dorn all the way over here and get some eyes on something. Lawson, what does the motion tracker see? Ooh, okay. So we've got a couple of packs already 
right at the beginning. That is... Hmm. That is worrisome. We'll put it there. Uh, I'm writing this down, by the way, Universe. Uh, we're writing down that you wanted a soldier, so bear with me just a second. I want to mark that down so I don't forget again. Actually, I have an idea for you anyway. I have an idea on who to rename for you. So, we'll see how it works out, but, uh... <clears throat> Alright. Well, I want to throw a battle scanner. I want to throw two battle scanners if possible. The problem is going to be... Van Dorn. Where do I move you? Lawson sees them... Probably right here, really. Just outside of visual range. Straight up this way, and then over to the left as well. So, like, over here somewhere. I think we might have to move concealment this way first and not throw a battle scanner, and then, depending on where they go and what they do next turn, throw one. The rubber's on the road, and the kids are in the back seat. Yep, there's some chrysalids, and who else? We see both packs, it looks like. Yes. Alright, so we've got a pack up on the roof, and one right down here. Yikes. That means we really can't move very far at all. We could bring everybody up and kind of hunker them, scooch them right here, and wait for the pack. Or just move out. I know I can take three chrysalids in one turn. I don't know if I can take six. With the Jaeger, I should be able to. I'm just worried they're going to move further back. Instead of towards us. And I would very much like them to move towards us instead of backwards. Um, alright. I want to see... Okay, so this is going to be a first science. Because I want to see what happens with these guys on top. These guys on the bottom should move towards us. There's no... Uh, no civilian in their immediate vicinity. Unless they decide to move back towards the, the ship. I want to see what their preference is. Heading there now. Contact. Good, they moved forward. Alright. What about these guys? They're gonna move forward as well. Perfect. This is just about exactly what I wanted. The problem is, why didn't Lawson take a close combat specialist shot? Yeah, that's not right. Lawson should have taken a close combat specialist shot at these guys. I don't know why. I don't know why he did not. That is a bit frustrating. Position confirmed. Clark, not yet. Ivanez, Kim, Yurnazarov. Here we go. Um, no, we have to get them out of the way first, it looks like. Okay. We're going to move out confirmed. Clark. We're going to move out Ivanez. Okay. Kim... Not sure yet. Yurnazarov can get closer. Cannot get into uh, free shot range, unfortunately. Affirmative. That's okay. Jalal and Kim. Kim, move up here. I'm rolling. Jalal, right here. I'm on the move. Yeah, it's a very nice cluster. It is. I might have to just throw a grenade. Oh, no, wait. We didn't take any explosive grenades, did we? Nope. Uh, 
No, no explosives. <sighs> that was the mistake. And, you know, it's funny. I don't even know why I made that mistake. I was thinking about it. And I don't know why I did it. If all goes well, it'll be a heck of a sleep. It, it will. Hopefully it will, yes. I think we'll take a shot here with Kim. Oh, 18 crit? Holy crap. Took out one all by himself. I didn't expect him to, but that's fantastic. Uh, let's see. We'll take a shot on the biggest one here with Yurnazarov. And another kill. Oh. Oh, these guys are just sweeping the field right now. Let's take a shot on the next biggest, which is an 83% instead of a 93. Yeah, we could do that. Lawson here has 100 on everybody. And a free shot on this one and this one. Let's take a free shot on this one. Nice crit. Then 100 on the last guy, maybe? Here, we'll take Clark's shot on the bigger one first. Nine plus shred. That'll work. Jalal. Jalal, take your 67 on, on the, uh, the guy with the lowest health. Why not? Just see if you can kill him. Good job. Jalal doesn't get a lot of kills, so might as well, right? And I think we've got the other two easy. We'll take an 84 here on the closer one. Seven damage. Put up hollow targeting. And that would leave Lawson and Van Dam. All right, Lawson. <clears throat> Farthest one. Take him out. That's okay. Nine damage is fine, because that should allow Van Dam to take both. There's a 13. And... 11. And we'll do a reload. That's it. Two pods down. Unfortunately, we're going to have some dead civilians, because I wasn't able to put up any... Uh, any battle scanners. So we'll probably end up with a couple of dead civilians at least. Yeah, there you go. Two dead civilians so far. Now let's get up the battle scanners. Yes, that was a pretty excellent first turn. Motion tracker shows eh, a fair bit. Let's just move up. I think we'll move up to the right a bit, go into the building maybe. On my way. Lots and lots of civvies. Okay. We need to move up again with Van Dorn and throw a battle scanner somewhere. Sir. So where do the battle scanners go? I think I'm going to put one here. And then another one in the building. I know there are, there's a couple of civilians up above. Is this a civvy? Yep. <laughs> so this is one of the two that got killed. Uh, that has me worried that there's somebody up here. We might have to try and throw a battle scanner up top. There might be a band of chrysalids or something up there. Hmm. All right, Van Dam, come on up here. To that location. Mark. Follow I'm on suit. Zerov. 
go this Got way. It. Ibanez, you're the one with Battle Scanner. Let's take you here and then try to throw yours up top. And you make it. Not exactly. Well, maybe. Not. Yeah, we could get one right here. Scanner in the air. <clears throat> Alright, so that sees nothing. Every civvy saved is a plus. Main thing is to clear house and not get the team in a bind. Yet. Absolutely, that is the main goal. And hopefully, we can accomplish that. There we go. Four battle scanners from Van Dorn, so we'll throw one probably all the way back out here. See if we can see what's behind the building, maybe. Coming on screen. There we go. That's two groups right there. It looks like mutons and a berserker, and then chrysalids. I'm on it, Commander. Hopefully, we can keep an eye on them for a while. Kim. Him come up this aye, way. Aye, Commander. So I should be able to rush everybody forward. Ooh, and the outsiders too. There's a group of outsiders over there as well. I think that's all of it. This is probably all that's left on the map. Possibly all that's left on the map. Three more groups. That'd be five packs total. Killed six, so that would be what? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's a floater hiding the back there. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Perhaps. Although that looks like a sectoid that I can't quite see. So maybe eighteen? There might be another pack. I don't. I actually don't know how many aliens are to. Uh, you're supposed to expect on a mission like this. That's one thing I need to learn and get used to. Is the number of aliens to expect. I think we're gonna move into the building. So let's actually start dashing people up. Here, Nazarov. Come on up here. Yes, Commander. Jalal. That well, doesn't really matter. Hold on. I'm gonna do Van Dam first. I'm on They're going my straight way. in the building. Heading there now. Kim can go. Oh, Kim. I'd like to get you in a better spot next turn. Yes, Commander. Lawson. Lawson, I don't want you any closer than the rest of the team, I don't think. So let's put you here, save a civvy, and Head move now. up from there. You're safe now. Go, go, go. <laughs> Who's going where? Newtons are moving back. Outsiders are moving forward, kind of. They're splitting up a little bit. I don't like that. Here come the chrysalids. Get over here. Nope, don't go back. Close combat special. Nice. Seven damage. It's not a kill, but hey, I'll take it. So we should be able to move in and kill those guys. And honestly, I think we can move in and kill the chrysalids without pulling anything else. We should be able to. We should be able to move in and kill all those chrysalids without killing anything, without pulling any other uh, group. Probably move straight into the building and take them from here. 
Aye, aye, Commander. Here we go. We can get... Oh, Van Damme. Van Damme can go over to this side. My only concern is what's going to happen over here. Is anybody coming around this side here? On my way. I shouldn't see anything this turn. Good. We do not. Clark. Clark, move up. I'm going to need you next turn. Oh, that's interesting. We can even get upstairs. Not sure I want to. Although, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Ooh, get a full cover spot over here, up high, for when the next pack gets pulled. Hmm, that's tempting. I'm going to move up Lawson and get ready Position for next confirmed. turn that way. Jalal. Jalal will probably hang back and kill this chrysalid. Or try to, perhaps. Kim can't move very far. Maybe Kim takes the kill. Hmm. Maybe Kim I'm takes the move. kill. Do we lose sight of him? Nope. He's the only one we can see. That's fine. Ibanez, just move Heading up. To that location. Kim, move up Heading here. To that location. Van Dorn. Van Dorn can get the kill easy. And if we do that, then... I need to be able to throw another battle scanner. Probably next turn. Possibly out to the left this time. So who can do that one? Ibanez could do it now. I don't know how far we'll get it. Not quite far enough, but there are the outsiders. Come on, right... Uh, right there might work. I just want to keep track of those outsiders, and it looks like there's a sectoid commander, possibly? Right here. Yeah, we're gonna throw the battle scanner. Big Brother is online. That's fine. There they are, yep. Sectoid Commander. <sighs> Hopefully that keeps them from killing anybody. We do not have a free shot with your Nazarov. I'm pretty sure we don't, anyway. Let's just take a shot. Seven damage. That's fine. Oh, it did count as a free shot. All right. I'll take it. I'll probably reload then at that point. Let's move up with Van Dorn. Maybe Frozen Van Dorn will get the kill here. And maybe I'll just move Kim up to get ready for a shot next turn. Maybe save a civilian. Possibly Jalal as well. Clark. Yeah, you're going to get ready for next turn. Moving. Van Dorn, see what you can do here. Did not kill him, but put hollow targeting up. That's fine. How about Jalal? Get the kill. Nice. Are on me. 
Very nice. That means... Yeah, Clark and Kim can't see anything, so Kim, come over to this side. Aye, aye. You're good to go. Now move. Lawson, take a shot on this guy. Ooh, nice crit. Very good kill. And let's see, Van Dam. Take a shot here. We can kill him. Great. If not, it should kill. Good job. 12 damage. Did exactly average. Probably get another kill here. And then reload. Very nice. Let's reload Back here. with Van Dam just in case. And then we'll probably reload here reload. with your Zerov. Clark. I kind of want to take Clark up. No, I think I think we need you downstairs. Just in case. Let's move as far up as we can with Clark and then take some high cover where That's we can find it next turn. Here we go. So we did pull the Muton pack, which is fine. Berserker moves forward, Floater moves forward, and the two Mutons don't. They're moving around the side. Pulled the Outsider pack as well. I was hoping we wouldn't. I was hoping they would move back, and they didn't. Okay. It is what it is. Oh, Kim can't see over here. Oh well, that's unfortunate, but we can actually get a free shot on the commander. Probably kill the commander with Lawson. So we're definitely doing that. Eat him. 11 crit, and then... Yeah, I think we're just going to have to take the other shot. We'll see what happens. I could run and gun and take a shot here, but I don't know if that's the best move. Clark. We need to take out this Berserker. That's going to be a big deal. What else? There's a Chrysalid pack here somewhere. Let's use the motion tracker. Motion Tracker does not show the Chrysalid pack. Did they just move back? Oh no! They're the one that came in first, right? I think they're the ones that came in first. Yeah. This should be it then. Unless there's another pack that we never saw. This should be it. Pardon me for one more moment. Need to blow my nose again. Okay. Apologies. So, what do we have? I... Oh, I know that we need to get Yurnazarov a shot, right? So we move Yurnazarov up a little bit. Grab a free shot on the Berserker. Possibly here. Grab a free shot on the Berserker. Okay. And who else? We could take Jalal upstairs. Although I'd love to put that chem grenade to use over here. 
Van Dorn. Van Dorn could come up and take a shot at the Zerker as well. Ibanez. Not sure what to do with you yet. Probably smoke grenade. I don't think you're going to get any good shots on anyone. So let's take a shot here with your Nazarov. Five damage. Good. Close combat specialist and another five. about Van Dam. Van Dam, come out here, get a shot on the floater and the berserker. I'm on the move. So we can kill the floater and the berserker. Should be easy enough. The other two, not so much. Clark is going to go right where the Berserker is, I think. I'd love to take this spot here. Oh, if we could only get that guy out of the way. I mean, I could. I could move Jalal up, get that guy out of the way, and then, I don't know, run into some high cover somewhere. Kim could sneak over here, start taking some shots on this pack over here, but I don't think we're going to have any good shots. What about up here? That might be better. Affirmative. Move Van Dorn up a little bit. 77 on the Berserker. Let's take that. No, it's a miss. Negative. But hollow targeting is up. Ibanez, where do we put you? You go to the left and smoke grenade for Lawson. I would re I, honestly, I'd rather reload with Lawson. So maybe we move Kim up. Good to go. Really? You only have a 64 on him, huh? That sucks. I think we're just gonna have to take another shot with Yernazarov and try to kill this guy. Four damage. Not enough. We'll take a shot here with Van Dam. It should kill. 23 crit, it did. Take a shot here, kill the floater. Nicely done. And we have a 64 to 59. Let's take 64 on the Muton. That misses. 
completely missed. That sucked. Let's move up with Clark. We can suppress this guy. Suppressing fire. Kim. I kind of want to take the 64 here just so that Yerdazarov could reload. I think I'll move Jalal over to the left. She sees nobody. Oh no, and the chem grenade isn't going to go far enough to even hit that. Uh, the outsider. Okay. Well, I'm really worried about the commander. And I don't think there's anything else I can do to help on that side. Ibanez can't see over there. No matter where we put him, he's not gonna see that commander. Aye aye, commander. Take the 64. And it misses, of course it does. That's alright. I'd take the shot and maybe command a reload at this point. At least we can kill the commander and get him out of the way. Taking care, a weapon spent. And then it would be four turns until we can do another command. I don't think we're gonna have four turns. I'm pretty sure I need your Nazarov reloaded. What about a smoke grenade? No? No, kind of, actually. We'll get one right here. What about inside? Can we get one on Kim? have the same hit points. I'm just worried. Ooh, we can get one on all of these people over here, perhaps. Hold on. This is a finicky smoke grenade, but I think we can do it. I think we can get it on all three of these people. There. We'll try that. Cover going out. Let's do this. Alright, what are you going to do to me? 86% chance on a civilian, of course. And 100. Yeah, that's two more civvies. Oh, that sucks. That's three. You got a 100% chance, really, behind high cover. Four. So six civilians dead so far, this turn. Well, four dead this turn, two dead the previous turn. I mean, I guess at least they didn't kill us? We could move around behind with Van Damme, kill this Muton, possibly kill this one. Maybe even flamethrower him. Kim... Yeah, your shots aren't great, but I mean, they're not horrible. I can move up and get a free shot. I don't think we can get a flank shot on this guy because of the step down. Okay. Ooh, we got a flank shot on the one in the back, but it's not very good. So, take the free shot on the first one here. Eat damage. Not a kill. We could probably get a kill. Van Dorn. 
Van Dorn might have to move up and take a shot on this Muton just to put some hollow targeting up. Kim. I don't know what to do with Kim. We could move up Ibanez and suppress, maybe. That's affirmative. Yeah, we can get a suppression off. That's two guaranteed damage. And we can move up Jalal, and I don't think we're going to get uh, a grenade in the right place. If I move up far enough, maybe. If I moved up to here, perhaps. But that's all going to depend on whether or not we can kill those mutons, and it'll leave us exposed in low cover. Anyway. Van Dorn can move over. Take a shot. Or put hollow targeting up over here. Ooh, your Nazarov could probably get a free shot on this guy. Nobody else, though. Or we run and gun. Run and gun, and maybe get a decent shot on this guy. And then depending on whether or not he moves. So we'd have to take care of this one first, which I think we can do. We can definitely kill this guy. Possibly run and gun here. Clark could move over and suppress as needed. Alright, it's all going to depend on what we do with Van Dam then. So Van Dorn move up and take a shot here. In motion. You see, 30%. Just take your shot. Put up hollow targeting. That's fine. No joy here. Van Dam, get your kills. Heading there now. If you can. We got one. 23 crit and a kill. Nice. I'm going to get a 92. And that's a kill. Beautiful. So he's done. That means this whole side is clear, which is fantastic. You're Nazarov, yes, we are gonna run and gun you. Going in for the kill. Right back here. Got it. Moving. Get him. 100% chance to crit. Oh, that's a nice kill. That is exactly what we needed. Let's move over with Clark. So you can only see that guy. And... We'll probably just kill him. With Lawson. Bilal... Move up here. I want to see if you can get your chem grenade on the last one. Nope. No, we're like five tiles too short. So we'll move up here, perhaps. Moving. Clark. Nothing. Kim. Maybe Kim will move over and hunker. Yeah, just kill this guy. He's trying to get the kill with anyone else, but not a big deal. Headed there now. Okay, let's move here with Kim. Cannot get a shot on that guy. Interesting. 
I guess I'll just overwatch. Roger that. Scanning. We'll see what happens, and then... Overwatch with Ibanez. I have nowhere else to put you. No good spot. Although, we can grenade. We can smoke grenade up here, just in case. Since your Nazarov's the closest. Clouds away. And I'm pretty sure we only have one left, so. Clark, Overwatch. Let's see what he does. Double move. Double move backwards. Probably not his best option. Your Nazarov, or Lawson, sorry. Lawson can run and gun. And. No, well, we can hit him, but it's gonna be. It's gonna be risky. Your Nazarov cannot run and gun. How about Van Dam? Can you get a shot? Probably not. On the move. Oh, yeah, you have no ammo. So that's a thing. Closing on target. Nope, Van Dorn doesn't have anything. Clark. Maybe once we move Lawson. Oh no, we're not gonna see anything. Nope. I'd like to take this Civi away from him, so I think they're gonna do that with Gernazarov. Position confirmed. You're safe now. Go, go, go! So at least he won't kill another civilian. Seemingly. Uh, we could move. Oh, Jalal. I wanted to get the chem grenade on him. And that's. Unfortunately, we can't. Uh, probably just move Jalal up here. Move Lawson up closer and hunker. And run and gun next turn, I suppose. Weapon systems ready. Reload with Van Dam. Heading there now. Lawson closer, hunker down. Move Jalal out, and maybe get the chem grenade next turn. Let's do this. Clark, come over to high cover. Roger that. Overwatch. Kim. Kim, move Moving up. To designated position. Reload with Yernazarov, or probably just Hunker. I mean, we don't need... We're not going to need all of these shots, I don't think. Who's got more health? So Yernazarov's in a good place. I'm just worried about this guy's aim. His aim is probably fantastic. John Thunder, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Already there. Let's move up with the Banas. Let's let's hunker here. I am worried about his health or his um, aim. He moves over and suppression on Van Dam. All right, that works out perfectly. So how you doing, John Thunder? I hope you're having a great day, and uh, I hope. <laughs> that we can have some fun here. Uh, let's run and gun. We're gonna take him out this turn, one way or another. Going in for the kill. Yes, sir. Get the flank there. Jalal. Oh, I don't know. We'll get a free shot here with okay. your Nazarov. 
Chillin', fell asleep about 8 p.m. or uh, so I'm up till I start work at 9. Nice. <clears throat> well, I'm glad you could join us. Let's get a flank with Van Dorn. Affirmative. Let's put up hollow targeting. 85% chance, and it missed. Of course it missed. Negative. At least we got a hollow targeting up, though. Yeah, there's really nothing else I can do with Jalal, so we'll just move up. Clark. Clark, move over. I don't think we need experience on... Well, if we got some experience on Clark, Clark is really close to being our next Master Sergeant. So that might be cool. Roger that. Does anybody else need it more? Who else is close? Ibanez is pretty close, but I don't think we can even get into a Position place where confirmed. we'll take a shot with Ibanez. Nope. So that's out of the question. That's Kim can come up here and take a shot, but I think that's out of the question as well. Yeah. All right, Lawson. Lawson, what do you got for me? Flank with an 84% chance to crit. Take it. 15 crit. <laughs> nice. He just took a second to realize he was dead. There we go. So, all in all, a very nice mission. Uh, six civilians dead, which... That sucks. That does suck, but... It doesn't get much cleaner than that. Eh, I Not mean... A single casualty. We got a couple of promotions. Work. So we got Van Dorn promoted to Gunnery Sergeant, Jalal promoted to Captain 3, uh, which is fantastic. Tech Sergeant, technically. Ha ha ha, pun intended. Uh, three or four days fatigue on everybody, five on Jalal. Sectoid Commander Corps, Floater Corps, two Mutons, Berserker... 10 chrysalids, Illyri 1 Illyrium, 1 alien alloy, 13 weapon fragments, 5 meld, and yeah, panic in India has increased, across Asia has increased. We will be watching. What does Asia look like now? You're fine. Everybody's fine. Still in the green, mostly. China's got one bar of uh, panic, but that's fine. That'll be fixed as soon as we put up the uh, satellite anyway, so... Sims always die on those. Just save more than we're lost. Yes, that is very true. Um, I just, I... It's a little pet peeve of mine. Just a, a really minor issue that I have with how this works. I don't like the fact that... Um, that you get panic no matter what, for the most part. Unless you do a perfect, an absolute perfect mission where you save every civilian... Uh, you're going to get some more panic, some extra panic. And I guess I, I don't particularly care for that. I don't like the fact that even if you do excellent on the mission, you save all but, you know, one or two. If you do, you know, average, like, it just, it doesn't seem like you should get panic in certain situations. If you save all but two civilians, why are you getting panic? I don't know. Little pet peeve. But... I don't know, I suppose... I suppose in the grand scheme of things, it probably balances out better. Uh, request from South America. What was that? Illyrium, yes. Uh, 30 Illyrium for 300 credits. I think I'm going to take this. I really think we're going to do this. Because I need as many credits as I can get. We have, like half a dozen foundry projects that I want to do as soon as we put up the next satellite. And we, yes, we have 684 credits, plus there are some things I'm, I'm sure we could sell. But 30 Illyrium for 300 credits? I'm gonna do it. 
we've got the Nexus in two days, and we'll put up those satellites right away, and then we'll do our foundry projects. Uh, we have a crash site in 25 hours. I think we have enough people, but I'm going to check the roster real quick. So we have enough people to take on this mission. Who's coming up soon, though? Kunkir, one of our officers, uh, is going to be available. Maybe not within the 25-hour period, but I don't know. Maybe. Zenerath, I would like to take a capture engineer, and Zenerath is one of our capture engineers. Um, by the way, Universe, I did have a decision. I did have a, uh, a soldier that I was going to choose for you, and that is Ibanez. Ibanez is going to be... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Ibanez is going to be Universe Antimatter. So we're going to change you Yep, can't do the whole thing, so... Universe Anti? Or Universe anti Matt? I don't know. Um... Hmm... I do like the uh, nickname, though. I kind of want to keep the nickname because uh, the nickname was something that came up at the very, very beginning of the campaign. Um, Ibanez did something, and I forget what it was, but I said my reaction to what he did was, well, that was unexpected. And um, Unchained said uh, that that should be his nickname. <laughs> so <laughs> Unchained suggested that to be the nickname, so we went with that. Uh, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep that. Antimatter? Yeah, Crimson, um, I might go with your suggestion there. I might just do antimatter. Um, universe, uh, if you have if you have a preference, let me know. But because I can always change it. Change the first name to universe? Ooh. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea, actually. Why not? <laughs> there. You'll be the only one of our soldiers so far that has uh, a viewer's name as first and last. Perfect. Thank you, Crimson. I appreciate it. Yeah, there we go. Universe, unexpected, antimatter. <laughs> I like that. I actually really like that. Um, we might wait the three hours for Zenerath. Our other capture engineer is uh, where is she I think it's a she if I remember correctly Duarte yeah Zenya Duarte who by the way I probably should give dense smoke yeah I think we're gonna give dense smoke to Duarte here so let's wait the three hours I'm gonna save it again because we had a name change. So there we go. Nice. And it goes for anybody. Anyone that wants a soldier, by all means, let me know. If you're following the channel, by all means, I will name a soldier after you. Uh, Nape of the Earth, small scout. Do I want to take the risk that he's going to land? I'm not sure. Because I'd rather take a landed scout than a crash site. Just for the extra, you know, power and uh, computers. I'm going to scan and just... Because this is so rare that a nape of the earth doesn't land. We had one earlier. I just want to see if it does. And it did. Good. So 15 hours left for the landing site. That means that I think we'll have a capture engineer for both of these two missions. Contact detected. We should have everything we need. 
So, Seokan is ready. What do you have? You're set up as a covert scout. Gunner, we could take Patterson. Is anybody close to ranking up? Not really. Uh, this is the landed, though, so I'd like to take some of our best people on this one. I think I'll take Patterson. How about... Maybe... Martinez? The crash we can be a little more lax with. I might take Martinez. I think we're going to take, uh, as far as infantry goes, I think I'm going to take Lambert and Gamid. And then we'll take Nikolova and Landau on the crash. I want Friendly. And what else? I might take the Pathfinder. And then that would leave us with Duarte as our capture engineer. Now, again, we have no explosives. Because Duarte would end up taking... Uh, really simply, Duarte takes the chem grenades. This is how I set up my capture engineers anyway. Chem grenades and the arc thrower. And that way with the abilities, they have uh, two dense smoke grenades, two chem grenades, and three arc thrower charges. All together. So no explosives on our engineer. And I don't think anybody else is really going to be able to take explosives. So... There's that. Respirator... Uh, let's take a scope because you are set up decently for it. Seokan will take Aegis. Probably an alloy cannon. The motion tracker and respirator. Lambert is easy. Aegis, heavy goss. We'll take the targeting module and a scope. Our mech is, for now, our mech is easy. Because we don't have much in the way of equipment for the mech. Although Lambert is a flyer killer. So instead of the scope, perhaps we take flak ammo? I don't know, your aim is okay. It's not as good as I would like. An 86 aim? Eighty-six aim, but with dead eye, that's what an extra fifteen, I think. So it's just everybody else you would have a harder time with. Yeah, maybe we'll take flak ammo. The targeting module is really, really nice. Eight extra crit chance and plus one damage when calculating crits. So I hesitate to give that up. What do the drum mags do? So uh, Crimson, the drum mags are uh, basically like an extra, uh, the high cap mags. Except drum mags give you two ammo instead of one. 
but it also confers a minus four penalty to aim, and it weighs two. So it slows you down and takes an extra four off your aim, but it gives you two shot, two extra shots instead of just one. Eh, I, you know, it is it is a heavy penalty, in my opinion. It's, it's a fairly heavy, heavy penalty. But if you think about it, if you take it on a an infantry whose job really is not to move as much as possible, they're supposed to stay in place and, and take two shots a turn, then the move doesn't matter, right? The minus four aim is not going to be a heavy penalty, not too heavy on an infantry, as long as they're ranked up well and they have decent aim. So, eh, you know, two extra aim or two extra ammo. It's not bad. Good for a suppression build? Yes, it could be good for a suppression infantry. Absolutely. Uh, so you don't really need the aim nearly as much. The movement penalty, again, not that bad. But it gives you one extra suppression every turn. Or every, you know, every reload. So yeah. I do take it from time to time. I don't take it on assaults. I've not I've never taken it on an engineer or a medic. I don't think I've ever taken it on a scout either, honestly. I think I've only ever taken it on infantry. Assaults would be the only one I'd the other one that I would consider because the minus 4 penalty penalty to aim on an assault not a big deal at all, you know, if you're running up with a shotgun. The weight of 2, so the extra minus 1 to your movement is you know, especially with run and gun, you can get around that. So this would be nice for uh, an assault where you know you're going to be taking a lot of shots. So either you get the free shot from close encounters, so you're taking two shots a turn, something like that, or a uh, close combat specialist in a situation with like the Berserker. That would have been really nice to have extra couple of shots. I'm debating, uh, while I was talking about that, I was debating whether or not to take to switch over the heavy Goss rifle to Gamede instead, because Gamede has better aim. I'm not sure. I, I might do that. Because the aim penalty for taking the second shot here is 10. That's going to take too much off of your aim for Lambert. So I think we will. I think we'll switch over the heavy Goss. And we have more consistent shots on Lambert. Friendly! I think Killer Instinct is just the way to go here. Uh, Executioner's nice, but the extra crit chance is nice, but we're already going to get a really nice crit chance because of aggression. Or at least a fairly decent crit chance because of aggression and then run and gun or whatever. Rapid fire along with this is insane. So activate run and gun, rapid fire, and we have plus 50% crit damage for the rest of the turn. So both shots on rapid fire get plus 50% crit damage. So if we can crit, we're doing a crap ton. So friendly is going to be a beast. Alloy Cannon, Targeting Module, and Breaching Ammo. It looks like just about everybody's set up, except Martinez. And I just don't have any explosives, and I am a little uncomfortable with that. It worked out fine in the Terror Mission. But, you know, it's not to say that we couldn't have used them. We could have used some explosives. <laughs> Martinez is just going to get the carapace, Goss rifle, a couple of med kits, and probably a smoke grenade? Because we do have combat drugs. We do have the combat drugs ability for that, so... Might as well, you know. So we have two smoke grenades from Duarte and one from Martinez. Pet 
Pedersen is set up. Yeah, everybody is set up the way I want them. I guess my biggest concern is I don't have more than three smoke grenades. I'd like to have another one. It's not necessary. Three should be okay. And the fact that we don't have any explosives at all. Yeah, if you're going for captures, explosives are a low priority, Crimson. Absolutely right. You are 100% correct on that. Um, it's just not to have any. Ugh, I'm leery about that. I'd like to get rid of some cover with explosives. That's, that's really what I would use it for, is just to get rid of cover. Let's save here. And this was the landing site we're going after first. So I think everybody else is ranked up. Everyone has armor. Everyone has goss. Yes. We should be good to go. There's Malakov. I think Malakov was one of our gunners. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance. I think he's a lower That's level gunner, a lower ranked system. gunner, if I remember correctly. So it looks like uh, the UFO it's nice to have him back, but we, we may or may not take him on the next mission. I'm not sure. Any hostiles before they threaten the local population. Since it's a small crash. Maybe. There we go. Launch mission. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. So let's save it right at the beginning of the mission, as usual. I think we did well enough on the terror attack. I'm not going to redo it. Not that I would redo it for this campaign, but redo it for in in my own time, like outside of the stream, just for the experience. I don't think I'm going to redo it. We did well. There are some missions that I like to keep just to practice. Especially things like uh, council missions, you know, gangplank, um, confounding light, that kind of thing as well. So we're right in the corner of the map. Uh, Crimson, explosives, explosives are great for breaching walls and taking out enemies using explosive objects for cover, but otherwise I just use them for guaranteed damage. That is fair. Uh, what I like to use them for is on, well, at this point, it has to be an engineer with sapper because uh, otherwise I'm not destroying cover, but I like it for cover destruction, mostly. That's what I use my grenades for at this point. Mostly for cover destruction. Uh, sometimes, if the enemies are grouped up enough to get a bunch of them in an explosive, I'll use it to take them down so that my other soldiers can kill them easy. Especially the Jaeger. If the Jaeger can get a bunch of kills because I've softened them up, then... Perfect. Uh, Sayocon, let's start off with the motion tracker. Yeah, there we go. First pod is right up over the hill here. It's probably right here somewhere. Or right behind the tree. Hmm. I think we're going to have to move left first. We could take one high cover spot here. Could take probably one here. We'll see. You're referring to the mech trooper when you say Jaeger? Yes, the the mech, uh, the one mech that I took on the terror mission was uh, his class is specifically Jaeger. Um, it's what happens when you take a sniper and mech them; they turn into a Jaeger. So he's no longer a sniper; he's a Jaeger. Uh, the one we have on this mission is called a Pathfinder. Pathfinder is when you take a scout and turn them into a, a mech. The scout turns into a Pathfinder. 
And then you've got things like, uh, we, we have one more mech that I did so far. Um, we took a rocketeer and mech'd her, and they become uh, what's called an archer. Now, the archer is interesting because the archer turns into, essentially, a grenadier. The archer gets bonuses that you would see from an engineer on grenades. And the, uh, the archer... Right now, I can't use the archer. I mean, I can, but I don't have a grenade launcher. So, we're crafting a grenade launcher so that the archer is going to be useful. Also, a mine thrower would be extremely useful for an archer. So, Seokan, I don't want to move up, but I do. Like, part of me wants to move up because we need to try to get better cover, but we're going to pull. So, I think I'm just going to move straight left first. No one else can reach that spot, correct? Oh, no, that's not true. Lambert. Lambert can take the high cover here. Let's take that with Lambert first. Target acquired. Nope, we saw them. All right. That's not ideal. I thought they were a little further back. I did not think we were going to run into them like this. Holy crap. But at least we've got a good spot with Lambert. And we've got a good shot on one of them, at least. We'll probably take that. 100% chance to crit and an 81 to hit. Nice. Yeah, been a while since you played it, Crimson. Uh, understandable. Absolutely understandable. I feel like we're not going to get a lot of good spots. With anyone, really. Pedersen... Pedersen could come up here and maybe get a suppression on somebody. Floaters on these maps are pretty consistent. Yes, absolutely. I think my biggest issue right now is I didn't expect to see them that soon. I thought they were a little farther back. I didn't think we'd pull them by moving up where we did. And I'm very disappointed that that happened. And there's nothing I can do about it, but... Okay, Gamid. I might just have to take low cover on the right-hand side here. Either that or low cover uh, in the middle. Pedersen. You're gonna move right here. You've got two you can suppress. I think it's better to suppress the heavy floater. Seokan moves up. We can get probably only a shot on the heavy floater. There's really nowhere better to go. Heading there now. We've got a 55 on the one in the middle. Let's take that. Nope, that's a miss. Shot failed to it's okay, I didn't expect to hit. It would have been nice, but I didn't expect to. Friendly. Oh, friendly. I would love to run and gun. We just have no good spot to run and gun to. Let's move everybody over here and probably just smoke grenade over here. Heading to that location. What do you have? Eighty on the guy in the middle. He's got hollow targeting, I think. So let's try and do something to him. Oh, that's a miss. I'll you know, next time. getting a little annoyed here. Eighty-one from Lambert here on the guy on the left. All right, good. Twelve crit. 
Lucas Tyler is going to move up. But not quite yet. Need to get a good space for Duarte. Here and smoke. We've got dense smoke, so this should be pretty good. And so we move up to that rock there. Martinez could move up a little further. Or vice versa. Probably vice versa. Moving to position. Let's do that. You're gonna suppress. Bring in the I'm kind of annoyed we're not actually taking anything down. Here, Martinez, just take a shot. We're gonna be in smoke anyway. Nope. 50 50, that's a miss. Shot failed to connect. You know, I'm getting a little pissed off. These all of these misses. At this point, XCOM owes me a hit. It owes me a pretty good hit, too. Here, we'll smoke right here. So we've got four in the smoke right now, and I'm going to move friendly right here. So we get five in the smoke. The problem I have now is if we do that, um, I might just take a 32 because off chance that we'll hit. Um, the problem I have right now is they're too clustered up. So I'm worried that we're going to get screwed because of that. Ooh, nice. 32% chance and it hits. Very nice with 14 damage. Let's move up Lucas Tyler. Uh, where can you go? Lucas Tyler can try to take out one of the flying floaters here. Or maybe that guy. Headed there now. Yeah, that was a really nice hit for the 14. That was unexpected and very, very nice. Oh, we can't see that uh, the other one. I guess I guess we'll just take the 73 here. Eat him. Nice, good kill. Has been neutralized. Let's see what they do. Suppression on Tyler. Okay. And 32% shot on Tyler. That misses. Nice. Fire. The injured one moves back. And the floater goes on Overwatch. I'm okay with that. Does the Overwatching floater have covering fire? No. So we're going to try a 76 on him, I think. Seokan. Oh, Seokan could move up. Yeah, at least they're missing two, I know. Moving to position. Let's see, 85. Let's take an 85 on the suppressor. Nice hit. Seven damage. Which means we can move up. Although, I don't want to move up while the Overwatch is on, obviously. We'll take the 76 from Lambert here on the Overwatcher. Ooh, beautiful kill. Alright, take your other 76. Try to kill the Heavy Floater. Nice! Oh, absolutely. Lambert, you pulled that off this turn, and I, I am so happy with you. <laughs> right now. We'll move up Pedersen. There now. Get a suppression if needed. Gamid has a 65. I think we'll just stay here and take it. Oh, that's a miss. Missed. Alright, well, you're down to 55, so... I don't know. Maybe? Friendly could move up and hunker. And then we've got Tyler. Tyler. 
the other guy in the back may have gone on Overwatch. If he did, there now. he might pull it. Also, could pull another pack. Alien object in sight. Yes, fantastic. So we see a meld, which is great. And we've got a flank. Tyler, take this. Kill him, please. 16 crit. Hit and run gives us another shot. That's 74% on this guy. We might as well. No. Seriously? I'm, I should probably have just done a flush. That might have been our... A better bet, honestly. I think we're gonna do a suppression here. Suppressing fire. And then I want to get Duarte closer. Maybe we can get a capture. This guy. I'm rolling. Duarte probably just hunker. Friendly, come up here and hunker as well. Gamid. Steady weapon? Perhaps? Martinez. You could probably come up here. Well, let's move friendly first. Roger that. Let's see if we can capture it. That would be amazing. And let's take the 40. Why not? Ooh, nice hit. Seven damage. Lower their health, better the chance of capture? Yes. That is exactly how it works. Um, I, really, you need to get them down to three. And he's throwing a grenade. You jerk. Four damage. Four damage on Tyler. Oh, not happy with that, but that's okay. I don't really want to get a shot with a shotgun. I think that'll kill. I don't want to take a shot with Lucas Tyler, because I think that'll kill. Uh, but you want to get them down to three health or less. Eight damage with Pedersen or suppress. If Duarte tried the capture right now, our chance is ridiculous. I don't even know if you can. I could flank it, take a double shot with a pistol. Rapid fire the pistol. Yeah, I know. Crimson, you're right. He could have tossed that grenade at, at the front line of three. And it's really not a big deal anyway, because Jalal can... Uh, or, wait, who was our... Martinez is our medic. Could come up and heal. So it shouldn't be really a problem at all. I feel like if Friendly comes up and takes a double shot with a pistol... That Good might be our... Are you kidding me? They're shifting their attack. I didn't even check, and I should have. That was so stupid. That was so bad. Oh, that's not... Fun at all. You little. Ooh. I hate Thin Man. Oh, I hate Thin Man so much. I should have used the motion tracker. Honestly, it in the long run, it wouldn't make a huge difference because I think our capture would have been screwed up anyway. I don't think we could have moved up uh, in such a way that we didn't pull. 
So I just need to move Moving up here out. with Tyler. We've got flank back here. We'll probably take that first. Let's see if we can kill one of the thin men. Nice. 19 damage. He's Almost done, which means we get hit and run. Eliminated. And there's nobody else that's in a good place. And we probably just kill off the heavy floater. I hate to waste that. Capture. I really hate to waste that capture. I just don't know if we can do it. I'm going to move up with Seokan. Try to get into a better position for next turn. I think Duarte... Yeah, if, even if we put you here, you'd be flanked. So, I, I think it captures out of the question. I just, I want that rifle. We need a rifle. It's so bad. Try something risky. Heading to that location. We're gonna move up and overwatch, I think, with Seokan. Patterson. I'm on it, Commander. Move over. Can you get a no. Crap. I was hoping to get a, a suppression on this guy. Yeah, Crimson, sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. That is true. That is very true. Gamid. Gamid, probably just move over. Moving to position. And when you have a 65, let's try your 65. Seven damage, so he's in perfect capture range. Or almost perfect capture range, anyway. And we could just come up and throw a smoke grenade and try to protect... Uh, what do we have here? Try to protect Duarte and try to get the capture. Or we could come up and... Uh, command a a move after the capture attempt. Command a move, right? Plasma additions would be a uh, plasma weapons would be a great addition to the arsenal. They would, and as soon as I get one more rifle, I can start researching plasma rifles. Once we do that, we just have to capture more rifles to actually craft them. But I can start researching them very quickly. As soon as we get one more. Just one. That's all I need. Just one more. I think I'm going to run and gun here and probably Overwatch. Probably not take a shot. Heading to that location. Yeah, you don't have any good shots on the floaters, or the Thin Men, so I'll probably Overwatch with friendly, and if this guy moves to try to flank, then maybe we can get a decent shot on him. I might do the same thing here with Tyler, just overwatch. Seokan, I think, is going to overwatch. First things first, I'm going to try to get the capture, and then I think we'll just move Duarte out of the way. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Aye, aye, Commander. Nice. We got it. We got the capture. That's fantastic. So, I think we move up here with Martinez and command Affirmative. Ibanez back, or command Duarte back into some kind of cover. 
I'll probably reload with Pedersen. Let's move Duarte into high cover over here. Way. Lambert. Oh, you know, I actually wish I had that cover for Lambert, but I have nowhere else to put Duarte anyway. So let's move up and hunker. Solid copy. Oh, you can't see anybody. Let's reload with you. Back online. If they move up to shoot, then they move up to shoot, but... We'll overwatch with Sayo We will... Oh, Lucas Tyler. Um... I'm gonna upgrade you. Thin Man is moving over into... I'm surprised he didn't take the high cover. 22% on shot on friendly. Seriously? He hit with a 22. You suck. Overwatch. Spit. Yep. Spit on friendly. I can't believe he hit with a 22. Seriously? Jerk. And we've got three overwatching thin men. Oh no, Kapow! Kapow taking a tumble. Come here, buddy. You need to get tucked in here. There you go. That was my fault, Kapow. I apologize. Uh, Crimson, you were having connection issues there for a moment? Yeah, sorry about that. Um, sorry, sad to hear that. Uh, don't think it was don't think it was my fault, so I'm not sorry, but I am sad to hear that. Uh, yes, we got the capture. Right there. Stunned heavy floater. I am so happy with that. And I was able to command our engineer to get back into high cover. Right after the capture, so it worked out really well. I think we're going to move up and try to draw out the overwatches. I just, I feel like the overwatches are, they might be dangerous at this point. I just don't know what else I can do. Nobody else is in a good position to take a shot. I mean, even Lucas Tyler here has a 51. I'd like to move forward with Lucas Tyler first. All right, Sailcon, you're gonna have to bite the bullet and try to take some of those Overwatches. Moving out. One percent from the first one. That misses. Good. You never know. There was a one percent shot on a on a Lightning Reflexes Overwatch that actually hit. Three percent for the next one, and it hit. Look at that. Look at that garbage. Three percent, and he hit me. Three. Oh, I'm... I'm pissed. He hit me with a three. We're gonna hunker down here with Friendly. I'd rush the mech and toast those skinny... <laughs> with the flame. Yes, we might. There's still one more Overwatch to run. In the back here. Um, if we go up here, I honestly don't know if we can reach with the flamethrower. We might be able to get these two. I'm gonna move up. And a 43% shot. It does hit. Go figure. Son of a... You know... They could have given me that one. Seriously? We got a 71% chance on this guy. Uh, let's see. I might take a shot with Seokan here first. 49% put up hollow targeting. That's a miss. You could have given Negative me damage. that shot. 81 here. There's nothing else I can do. I mean, I can move up Duarte, but... Ass. None of this is any good whatsoever. Move up into low cover and suppress. I hate it. There's just so Got much low cover location. here uh, until you get to these trees. Yeah, 
yeah, just it's all low cover now. Martinez. Uh, Lambert's gonna move up into this high cover. Heading out. Can't see anything, but we can overwatch from here. I feel forward. Probably not going to. I don't know, move up and hunker, I guess, with Martinez? So Tyler's going to be out for a while now. Especially because I think Tyler's going to get hit. Tyler's going to get shot at. Let's... XCOM, you owe me. Right? You owe me. 81%. Good. So that's that, and we'll take a flamethrower right here. Initiating flamethrower assault. Good. You know, I don't even care that we lost the corpses and the. Uh, unfortunately, it counts basically just like a grenade. We lost the corpses and we lost. Um, the weapon aye, fragments. Aye. So we're gonna move Pedersen over, maybe take the high cover next turn. We'll move Martinez. Up and hunker. And we'll move Gamid. I guess just over That's here. I have nowhere good to put anyone. Well done, Reloading. pun intended, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright, so. Enemy units retreating. Fifty-four percent on shot on Tyler, and he misses. Good. Heavy fire here. What about this guy? Sixty-two, and he misses. Heavy Thank fire you. Yeah, location. you owed me that, XCOM. You owed me that. After a three percent hit. So friendly still got acid. Pedersen can move up, but you're not going to hit... You're not going to see anything from here. At all. We can't get anywhere will you, where you will actually see anything. Sailcon can move up to here. Moving. You've got a 22 on this guy. I mean, at this point, maybe we should take it. What's the motion tracker say? Don't see anything yet, but I don't know. 22%. Oh, thank you. Now it's starting to even out a bit. <laughs> huh. And we could move over and flush this guy out. We could probably just flush him from here, but it's what, uh, 71? What if we move up and flush? So there's nothing on the map up to the next mill. Move here and flush. Position confirmed. Canister location confirmed. So where's the other meld? Is that it right there? No, those are rocks. thought you saw the other meld. You can't tell me canister location confirmed and then <laughs> have it not show up. I might just take this meld and then come back into cover. Lambert, yeah, we can't get anywhere for a shot. Solid copy. Martinez has a 45. I might take that. That meld's going next turn unless we grab it, so... I've 
cut no position. None. No positioning at all. So we either flush and do only a little bit of damage. Maybe overwatch with Martinez and flush and do like an overwatch trap kind of thing. If we move over to this side, are we going to pull something from the UFO? Because we could do that and overwatch as well with Duarte. Aye, aye, Commander. Good, nothing else Got pulled. It. Grab the meld, 13 meld. Let's aye, overwatch. Aye, Let's overwatch. overwatch. And flush. Five damage. Miss. Target still up. And oh, we didn't get the second Overwatch. That sucks. It must have been just one tile out of range. Oh, that sucks so bad. Let's move up Lambert into high cover. We'll hunker here. Pedersen. We can move into this high cover. Moving out. Mead. You got nothing. I'll I'm go rolling. up here. Right, here Overwatch. Let's see what he does. And he's moving back. Of course he is. Crap, crap, crap. You know, I'm getting tired of this garbage. Stop being a jerk. Seokan, come up here. Heading out. And then I could dash up. Last motion tracker, what do we see? So the meld is somewhere over here, and he's just beyond the meld. I don't think there's anywhere I can move that's gonna draw the overwatch if he's overwatching. Not with Seokan. So we'll just move Seokan up now. here and try. Nope. And he's not overwatching. Doesn't look like he is anyway. Let's move up and try to get a shot. Heading there now. Fifty-one. Not ideal. Rush up with Lambert. We will rush up here with Pedersen. Good copy. Moving on target. Friendly, you still have acid. Yes, you do. Hunker. Duarte. So we've got a little time for that meld. Nowhere good to put Duarte. I'd love to go for a capture. I just don't think we can. Martinez. Stay with the group. Roger Dodger. And Gamid. Gamid, come up into high cover. All He's right. not moving up far enough to flank you. Is that it? Just the two of you left? Yes. How about another flush? That should kill him. It'll take all of our ammo, but it should kill him. Nice. Good hit. Out of rounds. Alright. That's it. That's fair enough. Let's move up okay. here and then get closer to the UFO. Well, stay right where you are. Reload. Reloaded. So that was everything that was activated. Yes, 10 aliens. Everything that was activated. Let's try to grab that meld soon. Martinez is going to come up and heal, I think. 
I'm on the move. And ooh, I don't think you can grab meld with Max. We need to get closer to the UFO. Heading to that location. I'm worried what we're going to pull if we go straight to the uh, meld, though. Patterson, go up here. Gamede. Moving to position. Here. Friendly, you are no longer affected by acid, so that's good. I'm all over it. Move up and reload, most likely. Heading to that location. Lambert will probably put you right next to the UFO. Right next to the door. Pedersen, get you close. Martinez, heal. Friendly. Not sure yet. Seokan, let's now. move up here. We'll reload and we'll grab the meld next oh, turn. Yeah. Just Tyler over a little bit. Reload. Rearming weapons. Don't move. You'll be fine. There you go. Martinez can heal up our mech. Friendly Let's reload. Are you sure about mechs not being able to grab meld? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Obviously, they cannot take cover behind meld. Uh, they can't take cover at all. So. But other than that, I'm not sure. Getting there now. Duarte. Hmm. John Thunder, Shivs can grab Meld. I don't see why Max wouldn't be able to. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I honestly, I don't know if Shivs can either. Aye, aye, Commander. Or I didn't know that Shiv's could. On the move. Uh, we'll put it that way. Thank you for the info. We'll move over with Pedersen. On my way. I don't know if there's one or two more packs. I'm not sure. But we'll try to grab the meld in the meantime. Sayokan, see what you can do. I'm on the move. It's been secured. 13 meld. Okay, now can we get to anywhere there's high cover? Uh, yes, but no. We could easily get flanked there. I would rather use concealment um, to get a better view of the battlefield. So, I don't know, maybe here? But even then. I might just throw a battle scanner. Let's move up Martinez to here way. and then move up Tyler next. I'm on the move. And try to get more healing done. Friendly. Friendly, get up here. Solid copy. Med kids fix everything. Calm down. <laughs> I don't know about that, but sure. Okay, it's on this that? side, on the left-hand side of the UFO. Gotcha. Well, let's move in, friendly. Let's move Pedersen up. I don't know, here? Here, maybe? Yeah. We can get Pedersen over to this side and hopefully get a suppression as needed next turn. I feel, Commander. We'll steady weapon with our infantry. I feel like a battle scanner wouldn't go amiss, just to see if there's anybody else on the map. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Overwatch confirmed. It's either that or just move Seokan back with everybody else. Where's the edge of this map? Right there. And it goes all the way back. To there. Alright. Well, we can find out if there's anybody in the back corner. 
or we could put the battle scanner inside. I basically know where he is. I'm not that concerned about it, although I don't know if it's one outsider, two, three, or if it's a whole different pack and the outsiders are somewhere else. So it's either that or over here. There's definitely more in the corner, you think, Crimson? All right, well, let's give that a try then. Let's throw a battle scanner into the corner. Ish. Like right, I don't know, here or something? How about right here? That way we're not surprised. Battle scanner's up. There's another meld over there. Interesting. No other aliens so far, but another meld. I might go for that. I might take Seokan over there and just go for it. Because we can concealment all the way over to this side. And unless we're flanked... On the move. It should work. Yeah, we see nothing. Let's rush up here. That's what we're looking for. There's nothing over there. At all. Um, I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait right where we are. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch, steady weapon, etc. Affirmative, Commander. Overwatch, aye aye. Solid copy. Let's reload with Rock Martinez since we didn't get a chance. Oh, I'm just going to keep everybody in position until we get the Quiet. meld, or until the meld goes away. Either way. That way, maybe we can get our scout back. On the move. There, we can get that meld next turn. Nice. I'm watching. I feel, Commander. Got it covered. Round to that. I feel, Commander. Does the meld make a noise indicator that shows activity in a direction? So the meld kind of does, yes. You'll get... Uh, it's not the same noise indicator that you get for aliens. It's in hand, Commander. essentially this orange, you know, the same color as the meld, uh, direction arrow, direction line. Uh, that tells you where the nearest meld is. It'll actually tell you if you're close to, but I don't know what triggers it, but it can tell you where multiple meld are. It actually can tell you if you're close enough to all of them, all of them can show lines showing where they are, the direction that they are. I'm probably gonna move up. I'm probably just gonna move up here and take the concealment and then we'll move up again next turn and maybe get a flank. Yeah, that's exactly what that golden line was. Yep, yeah, you caught it. You know, I'm going to move up on this side first. And then we'll move... I see nothing, so I'm going to move... And the end of the map is right here. So I'm going to move into high cover here and get concealment. Okay. We haven't revealed anything yet, which is fine. It's exactly what I want. I don't want to reveal yet. Martinez, I might want you over on this side, but you're going to be too far away from the people I go left with. Moving to Overwatch. So I'm not sure yet. I'm watching. I feel, Commander. I'm on it. Mm. I don't know, Martinez. I don't know where to put you. We could dash you all the way across, but... 
Not sure that's a great idea. Maybe I'll just move you over one Solid more. Solid copy. Affirmative. Now. I thought only aliens gave off indicators like that? Uh, no. So that's the alien indicator, I don't obviously. Think we're alone uh, here. But yeah, Meld does too, which is really nice. And so do Exalt, of course. Yeah, Exalt does the same thing as the aliens do. Obviously. But, um... Yeah, I love the fact that they point off... They point out the Meld. I just don't know what triggers that. You know what I mean? I don't know what causes the meld to show up with the indicators or not, whether or not it does. I don't know if it's a proximity thing, if it's, you know, time-based, I have no idea. Well, we can move up into high cover here, and that would keep our concealment. I just don't know if we'll be able to see where the pack is. I think it's an outsider. Heading to that location. Nope. Can't see him, but we're at least a little closer. I think I'll wait one more turn. I'm gonna wait one more turn because we've on got all the meld canisters that I believe are on the map. I field, Commander. Come on, get some. Roger. I've got my eyes on. I'm on. Probably a proximity trigger? It could very well be. Absolutely. Alright, let's move Pedersen over this way. See if we can trigger him to go, I don't know, more towards the center? There he is. So we move forward. That's fine. Open the door. Friendly could run and gun and get a kill. I would very, very much like to try to capture this guy, though. Duarte. Probably move up and... Wait, what is this? Why, why is this spot unavailable? That doesn't make any sense. I think we'll move up with Tyler. I mean, a 65. 65 or I could flush. Friendly's probably just going to come up and hunker. Duarte. Probably take Duarte over here. So I'm closer and I can get a capture next turn, maybe. Although I'd really like to get a chem grenade on him. Flush, go for the cap. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go for the capture. You know what? I might move Martinez up here and smoke. And Duarte up and cluster them together. But maybe I can get a chem grenade on him. And then within the next few turns... Maybe get a capture. Headed there now. A chem grenade on him now. Yeah, I don't want to overdo the damage. That is very true. I definitely don't want to overdo the damage. Acid, and then. Friendly can come over here. On my way. And just hunker. Martinez can move up and smoke. Roger, tracking. Although that is the crit chance smoke, so. Yeah. <laughs> um. Ah. 
So if I flush, it'll do a decent amount of damage. But where is he going to go? I'm afraid he's going to move back. I'm really afraid he's going to start moving back. If he does, then what? We can take 71 from Lambert, but that's a really good crit chance. 85, and that's a good crit chance as well. So no... I don't want to suppress and flush. Let's suppress this turn, flush next turn. Suppressing. Which is going to steady. I'm going to probably just skip turn here. You can one for all. Steady. And we'll just enter. What's he gonna do? 1% shot on Pedersen at misses. Got a lot of heat on me. That's good. That will work. Can we get into capture range? this turn. No. No, we cannot. So... Let's give some high cover. Let's do this. Switch to pistols? Yeah, I'm probably going to. I'm going to move up Duarte here. And then we'll put Tyler right in front and use him as high cover. I'm on it, Commander. We'll probably suppress again. I'm on my way. Hold on, will the flamethrower do anything? Five damage. I don't know if it's going to actually cause him to panic. I am curious how this works with him, though. I'm going to do a force science. Because I don't know if you can panic an outsider like that. I am curious. Flamethrower engaged. Six damage. All right. Well, he didn't panic. Doesn't mean he can't, but he didn't. I'm on the move. What about... Yeah, if we switch to a pistol... Maybe we can get a decent shot next turn. Heading to that location. We'll just hunker here. Suppress. X-ray He's gonna heal for four, I think it is. We could probably move up here. I'm on it, Commander. Just to maybe discourage him from flanking. We'll hunker. Maybe I could take a shot with a pistol from here. But I don't know if it's worth it. What about a pistol shot from Gamish? 55? 
Uh, he could crit and do like, I don't know, six damage or something. I mean, if he did, that would be great, but yeah. Um, I don't, you know what? I'm gonna overwatch with a pistol. Why not? Just for the heck of it. And we'll just end turn. What's he gonna do? 1% shot again on Pedersen. That's fine. Regenerated 4 health. Okay, here we go. Here's our capture attempt. Friendly. On the move. Friendly come up and take a pistol shot or two, maybe. 62. I'm gonna save it. I just don't want pistol a pistol kill. That would be annoying. Rapid fire would be what, a 47? Yeah. What else could we do? We could take a pistol shot with Seokan. Moving out. That's probably a good idea. Ninety-seven with a fifty-fifty crit chance. Let's take that. One damage. All right, not quite what I expected. Let's try two shots here. Nope, and. Nope. The target. Dead in the water here. Both missed. Interesting. What do you have here? 75 with a 44 crit chance? Just don't want to do that much damage. You have an 81 with a 36 crit chance. I'm going to take that. There we go. Now he's in capture range. Okay, capture range. So we move up. I'm on it. Move up right here. Yeah, still using basic pistols? Yes. Yes, I'm using basic pistols. We're gonna try the stun chance. 57. Say goodnight. Nope. Target is still moving. And last but not least, we have a command. Go for the stun again. Come on. 57%. Come on. Subduing there we go. All mission objectives One complete. Nice. Gigawatts, Got lucky. After a couple of those hits, though, they owed me. Just wow. I'm glad we got it, though. Two captures in one mission. That's fantastic. heavy floater and uh, an outsider. Love it. So Lambert got promoted to gunnery sergeant. Uh, let's see. Tyler got wounded. Nine. He's out nine days. Nine days for one health. He's missing one health and now he's out for nine days. That's ridiculous. Uh, Martinez is fatigued for five. Everybody else is out three or four. Heavy floater autopsy. We got an alien carbine, alien rifle, alien grenade, floater corpse, three heavy floater corpses, four thin men, uh, one heavy floater captive, 42 Illyrium, 55 alien alloys, 16 weapon fragments, 43 meld, two flight computers, a power source, and an outsider shard. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, I really should make some laser pistols. I just, I made one for our covert operative, and that's where I stopped. I just didn't make any more. I should, though. 984 credits. So, as soon as that Nexus, uh, satellite Nexus is done, we're going to do some foundry projects. I can't wait. Save the game here. And we still have a crash to go to? Yep. Still have that crash. So, for the crash, what do we have? 
I've got a scout. I've got infantry. I've got an assault. I'd rather not take Zhang. We'll probably take somebody else to get them experience, like Wu. Wu is almost ranked up. Uh, Legal was going to be our covert operative assault. I've been trying that, and it it works well enough. I usually use a scout because of um, being able to run overwatches. But it's extremely risky, regardless. So being able to run and gun and hit a transmitter might just work out better, especially in the later game. In the early game, I can run overwatches all I want. And, uh, you know, the exalt aim is not great. So we can run a bunch of overwatches. But yeah, we might want to get Legal some experience. Uh, we have a gunner. We've got we've got an engineer. We don't have a capture engineer, do we? Oh yeah, we do. Xenorath is ready. So there we go. We have everything we need, I think. Yeah, we'll be fine. I still can't believe that. Nine days for one health. That's it. Yikes. Who is our better scout? Well, Nunez has better aim, but Glover has better wit. I don't know. I might take I might take Nunez just for the extra aim because I think we're going to take two assaults on this one. You have hollow targeting low profile and battle scanner. I think we're going to take concealment. I really enjoy concealment. In the zone would be very very nice. However, we don't get a lot of kills. Um Honestly, don't get a lot of kills with Nunez. As you can see, 14 missions, 16 kills. Uh, do you limit yourself to one mech at a time for the challenge? Crimson, um, no. It's the reason why I'm limiting myself to one mech at a time is so that I have mechs available for future missions. Um, I only have three mechs at, in total at the moment. Only three mechs, and right now three level one, you know, the paladin mech suits. So there's only three available. If I take more than one on a mission, which I can do, um, and, and it would be awesome, that just means we're not going to have any mechs for a while. And the archer's not ready yet. The archer doesn't have the grenade launcher, so the archer with her uh, perks, with her abilities, just isn't very effective at the moment. I'd like to mech more people, though. I want another Jaeger. I want... Um, another Pathfinder would be great as well, to be honest. But I want to try out a couple of the other mech classes. I want to try the Gunner as a mech. I want to try the Medic as a mech. Yeah, I definitely need to make more. I just don't have the troops in the right position to make them a mech. But I'm building. There are a couple of troops that I'm actually leveling up specifically for that purpose. I'm debating. In the zone might be nice for her just because of her aim. Honestly. Maybe. Concealment is fantastic, but... You just don't get a lot of kills. I might hold off on Nunez then. Because I don't think I want to rank you up yet. I'll rank up Glover. We'll get concealment with Glover, I think. Hit and run would be awesome. Especially because we use... Most often, I use a shotgun with Glover. So hit and run would be awesome as well. Oh, ho, ho. all right. Give me a second to think about that. 
Gunner, let's take Delgado or Sanusi. Sanusi's got better aim and better health. Let's take Sanusi. Infantry, let's take Nikolova and Assault. I want two Assaults, I think. We're going to take Wu and Legal. How about Sereva as a medic, because she needs another mission or two to be able to uh, become an officer, if possible. We could also take roast beef. Aim is not great, but I think by the time you reach Corporal, it might be comparable. What did Roast Beef want to be? Let me take a real quick look. Roast Beef... Uh, my choice. Okay. Oh, I know what I wanted. Which I don't think we did yet. Yeah, we have to wait until we get Roast Beef's uh, nickname. Ball sign. So, infantry... Easy enough. You can take a Goss heavy Goss rifle. You can take probably the motion tracker and a scope. I'm going to take concealment again with Glover. We'll take Aegis and. This time, you are taking a Goss Rifle. Motion Tracker and... Uh... Ah, the Respirator. Quite possibly. I might switch the Motion Tracker from Nikolova to something else. For our Gunner, Aegis and the Goss Auto Rifle. And then you get... Respirator and... Yeah, you're pretty good. Xenorath. Xenorath is relatively easy. You just Goss Rifle. A Chem Grenade. And Arc Throw. Both assaults are pretty much the same. Aegis, targeting module, breaching ammo, although we're going to set up Legal slightly differently. You're not set up to do a whole lot of crit damage. You're more defensive. Steadfast, will to survive. Rapid fire is very nice. So we can probably still give you a targeting module, and what else? Oh, maybe a flashback. That might help with captures. So our officer is Nikolova. like to take a couple other people, like DeWitt. I'd love to take DeWitt. I think we're going to, because DeWitt is going to be our next capture engineer. And then maybe, st we have three spots left, I believe. No, two spots left. Two spots left, so I want DeWitt. And then for the last spot... Thinking either roast beef or uh, crimson. Now that you've got acquired the plasma weapons, you've got the next step in development going. Not quite yet. 
I do have the plan for that. I don't have it actually currently in the works. Smoke and mirrors. I'm going to take smoke and mirrors. We're just going to go straight down the middle, all the way through Packmaster. The last rank, I'm not sure. Probably Bombard? Maybe? I don't know. But all the way through Packmaster is, this is my capture engineer. Straight down the middle. Uh, but as soon as I get this squad set up, yes, I'm going to check that. I'm going to find out. Intex! Oh, Intex, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Yes, hydrate. That is a very good idea. Thank you. I also need to actually switch positions because my butt, my tailbone's starting to hurt. There we go. John Thunder, how do I get added as a soldier? John, all you have to do is be a uh, all you have to do is be a follower of the channel and just ask. That's it. That is it. Um, I don't think we had anything written down for you. So yeah, if you want, yep, just looking through my notes. No, I don't see anything. If you want a soldier, just let me know. All you have to do is tell me what soldier you want. If you want a uh, specific class, if you want, um, you know, male, female, like if you have any preferences, any preferences at all, you let me know. And we'll find a soldier that fits as best I can. Uh, some people got really specific and said, um, one person got really specific and said they wanted a very specific nationality and male. And I was like, well, we don't have one in the roster right now. It might take a long time before we see one, if we see one at all in this campaign. So the more specific you get, ugh, you know, the less likely it is I'll find that soldier. But uh, can you be a scout for lightning reflexes? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Mike DeWitt, you should be relatively easy to, uh, to kit out here. Smoke grenade and smoke and mirrors means we already have two smoke grenades. And we already have two on our capture engineer as well, Xenorath, so we don't need any more smoke. I could take the AP and HE. And we could just make that work. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to actually craft another chem grenade. Uh, but, with all of that being said, how about this? How about... John, how about we give you Glover here? Glover has lightning reflexes, because that's default, obviously. Hollow targeting, battle scanner, low profile, and concealment. So he's a... Uh, he's my... I tend to build scouts this way for the most part. I tend to build scouts, a lot of my scouts, just like this. Um, they're concealment scouts. They can take any cover because of low profile. They put up hollow targeting. They can throw battle scanners, so I can use them for terror missions really easily. I can use them to scout out meld. I can use them to uh, to run overwatches. Absolutely. Uh, the, the thing that I have to remember, though, is when I use them to run overwatches, every once in a while I'll forget that they have concealment and I'll I'll dash into high cover to try to run an overwatch, but they'll go concealed. And so they won't draw any of the overwatches. I've done that a few times. Just completely forget. So we'll change the last name. There we go. Perfect. So now you're James John Thunder Odin. And if you have any other preferences as well, you can you can choose anything like tint, you know, armor tint, deco, facial hair, hair color, helmet, whatever you want. I'll change it. Um, I just don't want to spend like you know an hour in customizations or anything. Uh, but if you have any preferences, like somebody actually asked for a couple of people asked for pink armor, which I thought was awesome, makes them stand out on the battlefield. Uh, somebody asked for a skull helmet. Things like that. So I'm more than happy to do that too. Just let me know. Uh, let's see. Roast beef is probably going to get carapace. And then... I think we only have six Aegis armor. We'll take a med kit. 
And what else? What do we want on our medic? Another flashbang, perhaps? We have four smoke grenades. That should be enough. Biggest beard and glasses, and I'm cool with that. Sounds good to me. Let's see what we can find real quick. Beard and glasses, so... I don't know, can, is there a beard? Oh, duh, facial hair. <laughs> Jeez. Roast beef, I die, I live again. Yes, roast beef, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, how many are there? So apparently you can't have big beards. This one's probably the best. Beard-wise. Mustache? If you have a number preference, let me know. Otherwise... Just looking through all these. Yeah, that's probably the best beard. The most full. This one right here. What do you think? And then sunglasses. We can do... I'm pretty sure there's a... At least one helmet version that has sunglasses. There's ski goggles, or this one. Handlebar, it was back like three, okay. Like this? Yeah, hair color, it is hard to see that way. What about that? <laughs> How's that one? You like it, John? All right, there you go. So it gives you that one, and uh, the sunglasses here. Perfect. Works for me. I like it. Thank you, Crimson. Yeah, you're right for pointing that out. It does. It is hard to see with the blonde hair. Oh, you are quite welcome, John. Thank you for, thank you for wanting to join the the fight. Let's see, is everybody equipped? Everybody has armor. Make items available. I don't think we have more than six. Uh, Aegis. Yeah, that's all the Aegis we have. That's fine. Oh, Roast Beef needs a weapon. You need a weapon. What do we give you? I'm actually low on weapons. I think we have to give you a laser rifle. I mean, it's good anyway, because your aim is relatively bad at the moment. But that's okay. Maybe I'll give you a scope instead of a flashbang. Maybe we'll hit more. Crimson, do I have any gene modded snipers? No, not yet. I haven't done any gene mods at all yet. Not on this campaign. I have no problem doing gene mods. I just haven't done any yet. I don't even think we have the uh, the gene facility up yet. I think it's still being built, or I have a space for it. It's just it's not up yet. But we'll see. I'll check it as soon as we're done with this. I think we're good. We have one laser, but we have the rest. Our goss. We have all of our armor done. We've got some explosives. We've got two, four smoke grenades. Yeah, I think this is the... This is the squad we're going to take. Let's save it. I don't need the landing site. Let's delete that. And we'll save it over... What? Don't need two of the crash sites either. I need to get rid of a bunch of my saves because I just have a ton for no reason. 
Oh, wow, that's down a little far. Oh, game 10. Okay, this right here, game 10, is our uh, achievement save. So that's a basic save. I can't save over that. Game 7. I'm glad I caught that. UFO crash site? Yeah, we'll save it over this one, I think. Uh, so Gene modded sniper is what you go for? Sounds good to me. Let's see. Yeah, the, the genetics lab is up in four days. So we could probably put a sniper into the gene lab soon. Absolutely. I'd probably give him, like, jumpy legs and uh, uh, probably the... The aim, the aim boost, the I one, I can't remember what the name of it is. Do you have armor that can equip a grapple? Yes. Yes, we do. We actually have one, we have two armors, two of the Kestrel armors, which can have a grappling hook. Uh, but they're not great. They only have two health, two armor, essentially. But they're the first one you can get that has a grappling hook. And then I've got one of the Banshee made. Banshee's much better. Three, three armor, four mobility, 12 defense, and a grapple. I love it. Chameleon skin and aim boost? Yes, there you go. There you go. Uh, we have nothing that needs repair, so we're good there. I did save it, correct? I believe I did, I'm just gonna double save it anyway. Okay, let's take the crash site. Yeah, I think this is the squad we take. Roast Beef will get you some experience. Zenrath for the captures. DeWitt needs more experience as well. So we can make you a capture, Engineer. Here we go. Touching down. And begin assault. Jumpy legs are redundant when you have the grapple Our target available. site is near the German border. Uh, four snipers, I would say, yes. The alien craft um, went down in flames. The, We've pinpointed its final resting place. The only reason I really like jumpy legs no is because you can give population. heavier armor we need to, secure that to the people that have jumpy legs. Survivors. Uh, so you don't have to worry about the grappling hook. But for snipers, yeah, they can just take grapple armor. So you're probably, you're probably on a better track there than I am with that. You're probably right. I should probably do uh, not do jumpy legs. Loud and clear, big sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized. I forgot I had the banshee craft, which is a really good armor in and of itself. I mean, three armor is not great, but it's certainly nothing to sneeze at. The four extra mobility, twelve defense—it's all really good. So this mission, I think I know where we are. This is the farm, and I think we're in the. Far right corner, like the UFO is up this way, to the uh, upper right of where we are. At least the way I'm currently faced. Let's do another save. I saved it. Why do I have so many of these saves? Actually, not sure, so I'll save over this one. I don't remember why I had multiple. I think one of them was because I wasn't sure about one of the requests, fulfilling one of the requests. All right, motion tracker. I'm pretty sure we're not going to see anything, but we have plenty of motion trackers now. I think I brought two, so we have six uses. Let's just move up. All right, John, we'll move up here see nothing. That's fine. The gall... Uh, as much as I'd rather go all the way across to the farm and then all the way up, I think we're going to miss out on any melt if we try to do it that way. But if we just go straight for the UFO, it's such crap cover here.
yeah, it works well with a sniper. You have well out of danger, but it's still fire into enemies due to max range, especially when using the scanner grenades. Yeah, absolutely, when using a battle scanner. Uh, that's the perfect way to use that sniper, Crimson. Absolutely. And honestly, on this map, I probably should have taken a sniper. Hmm. Look, I'll move Get up this way. Do it. Oh, see, so that's the choice. Do we go straight to the UFO? In which case, I would probably want to hug this right wall and go in towards the UFO. Or do we go all the way across and try to get into better cover in the farm itself? Problem is, getting there, there's very, very little good cover on the way. I think we're going to move up on the right-hand side. All right, do it. Come on up here. Thunderath. Right I'm behind. Commander. It's I'm Nussi. On and Rose Peep. And... Woo. Aye, aye, Commander. And then Nikolova. On my way. So, John Thunder used a battle scanner. Let's move up even further. I'm on it, Commander. Still don't see anything, so we've got everyone can move up. We've got plenty of room. Okay. Uh, Crimson, I do wish the snipers could go prone, though, for increased accuracy and reduced visibility. That would be Moving. nice. That would be amazing. Okay. Yeah, you can do that in um, one of my favorite games in the XCOM or XCOM-like types of games. One of my favorite ones is XCOM Apocalypse, which is basically the third in the series. Heading to that location. I love that game so much. It's such a buggy, unfinished mess in a lot of ways, but the just the potential in that game it had so much vision they just never got to finish it because uh, time crunch I think from the publisher I'm pretty sure they were rushed oh Nikolova you're too far behind I was going to use Nikolova's um, battle scanner motion tracker but too far behind. So let's use the one on John Thunder again. We'll just move up here and head into that location. See what we see. Nothing still? Yeah, I think they're all in the farm. I'm pretty sure all of them, all of the aliens are in the farm. I'm gonna move up as far as we can. Solid copy. There we go. Enemy in sight. Seriously? You pulled him on the last possible square you could have pulled him on. That's... that sucks. Well, we're not going to see anything from anyone here. Basically just have to rush. Let's do this. Legal could run and gun. Not actually get anywhere. This is a beefy outsider. Holy crap. Same thing with Wu. We could run and gun. Just not gonna get anywhere good. Oh, I just I wish this little brick here wasn't actually there. I could run and gun into high cover. Hmm. What if Zenerath moved up and I could throw a smoke grenade over here? I'm on it, Commander. Yeah, that should work. We can get our assaults a little closer. Roast Beef's just gonna have to hide. 
moving. Legal. You run and gun here, it's still not gonna be a flank. So maybe don't run and gun. There's nothing else on the battle scanner, or the motion tracker, so we should be safe. Location confirmed. And then woo. I don't know, does woo go here or here? Where can I get that smoke grenade? Either one will work. Yeah, either one would be fine. Smokes in the air. I'm worried about getting flanked here, though. he comes out this way, if he actually comes out all the way over here, he might be able to flank our scout. I am not happy about that. Or have like a hollow camo smart ghillie system to blend in the environment, disguise yourself as the environmental object, like a debris pile or trash. Yeah, that would be interesting. That would be really interesting. There's no good spot for Nikolova. We're gonna move her up into high cover. And that leaves Sanusi and Wu. Sanusi, I wish I could suppress, but there's no way we can get you close enough. So just here Roger, for now. Dodger. Maybe suppress next turn. Woo. If if this ends up being a big mistake and I misjudged where he's gonna go, if, if I misjudged that he can actually make it here, because I'm not sure if he can, but if I did, I might Already reload. There. I don't wanna lose. I don't wanna lose John Thunder. <laughs> not on the first mission. All right, good. That's fine. You can go behind cover there. I'm fine with that. Uh, so we've got mutons that I heard. He's trying to prevent himself from getting flanked, which is fine. I get it. Mike DeWitt. Yeah, nobody can actually get a flank yet. Sanusi's not going to be in range for a suppression. We got to do something about that Overwatch first. So, John Thunder, why don't you come up and. I don't know, go here for now. Heading to that location. There you go, 5% lightning reflexes. That's a mess. Incoming over here. Good. And as much as I would like to get a capture on you, I'm not entirely sure we can. Outsider Captain. He's got opportunist ready for anything, lightning reflexes, close combat specialist, there it is. Adaptive bone marrow and muscle fiber density. Close combat specialist on this guy really does worry me. Because that means I can't exactly run and gun. Then take him. I, mean, I could try. I might. No, this is too close. Might be able to do here. I might be able to get somebody here for a shot. 
but then he's going to want to move. We either have to capture him this turn, or... <laughs> Is there anything special about an outsider captain? Is there anything special about capturing him as opposed to just a straight-up outsider? I honestly do not know. So I'm going to check the research tree real quick, because I don't think there is. Pretty sure, like, you capture him, you just get another shard. And I don't think that... Um, I don't think he carries anything different. Not sure about that, but I don't think so. Bear with me just a moment. I'm just taking a look at the UFOpedia. I think he's basically just a pod leader kind of thing. Outsider, here we go. Outsider. Research progression and leader progression. So he's definitely a leader. Ah, okay, so the outsider captain is like middle of the road for their leaders. Well, he's he's closer to the end. Like he's mid game, but like late mid game ish. Cause after that it come uh, there's essentially nine levels of leaders, apparently. From what I can tell. Uh, but only seven of them are tied to the alien research. So according to this, alien research, they have 200 points at least. They gain one point of research every day. They also gain a bonus research for a bunch of other methods. Two per active alien base per month. 20 for each successful raid on XCOM HQ. Yikes. Uh, plus one for a UFO that takes no damage on a mission. 50% chance for a UFO that takes less than 50% damage on a mission. Interesting. So there's a bunch of listed reasons why they get extra research. The number of aliens allowed on each pod is directly dependent on the current alien research. So right now, there's three levels apparently. Uh, research greater than zero, but less than 120, two to four aliens per pod. Research greater than 120, but less than 240, three to six aliens. That's where we are now. And research 240 plus, uh, or over 240, they can have four to eight aliens per pod. Yikes. Ouch. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Crimson Howling, hydrate. Yes, it is. It is time to hydrate again. Uh, not worth the risk if it's just another shard. I would absolutely agree with you. And I think that's all it is. That's all I can see. All I can see right now. That's it. Okay, well, that is a very interesting and informative page, or couple of pages, anyway. Uh, the, the outsider itself, the leader, which this that's what this is, he's leader level 5, he's got plus 10 will above normal, he's got plus 5 aim, plus 10 hit points above normal. Very interesting but it doesn't look like he's got anything else. Nothing else special about him, other than his weapon. Like, he's gonna have a... I think they have a carbine? So, you know, I could capture another carbine. Which would be great, but I think the risk of trying to capture this carbine? Not worth it. I have nowhere to go with Nikolova. I think I'm just going to run Nikolova up here into uh, 
low cover because this this is covered by smoke or should be anyway. Location confirmed. Just so Nikolova is closer to some of our soldiers. Let's just make sure she's covered in smoke. Yep. Dead smoke. And John Thunder, we can take a shot with you just to put up hollow targeting. Wit could move up and hunker, and then move over and get a better shot next turn, perhaps. I'm rolling. Twenty-three. So yeah, that's not worth it. Uh, roast beef. We could just dash you over, but we can't see from here. It seems, which is weird. The add-on that the mod that I have seems to suggest we can't actually see from this spot. Yeah, this guy's extremely dangerous to, uh, to close the distance with. If he's a close combat specialist. He, yes, absolutely he is. So I think the run and gun is going to be... It's going to be risky. Moving out. We're going to move up roast beef into the high cover. But we do not get a flank for that. That's fine. Uh, Sanusi, I would like to get into a spot where we can suppress with Sanusi soon. So maybe here. And then we can suppress next turn if needed. Solid copy, Commander. That should leave Sanusi in smoke. Yes, perfect. Woo. I'm gonna... Here's... So we're gonna do a first science because I think I know the answer to this, but if I'm wrong, I just want to know why. I'm going to run and gun and put Wu here and take a shot on this guy. I don't think it'll trigger close combat specialist because of where he is. He can't see me from, he can't see me approach from this direction, and he shouldn't be able to see me approach from this direction beyond, like, here. Yeah, because even this is not flanked, right? So he shouldn't see me if we move up this way. This whole thing is out of his line of sight, so we're not going to get in range for close combat specialist from this direction. Yes, sir. Perfect. And then we'll take a rapid fire right here, see what we can do. 84% crit chance. 7 damage and 16 crit. Yes, we needed the 16 crit to kill him. It's a good shot, though. Uh, John, just stay where you are. Legal will probably just Got move it, up. Joker. We'll move up with everybody. On Let's go straight way. in with Duet. Zenrath. Come on up here. On our way. Legal. I just don't want to move any farther forward right this second if I don't absolutely have to. Overwatch. Aye, aye. There. Got my eyes. Overwatch those two. Yep, Crimson for science. What's making that noise? Sounds like the mutons. Oh, and there's the meld. Sounds like the mutons are behind the barn. And the meld is off in a direction that I don't want to go. Unfortunately. All right. Uh, John, we'll move you up probably this direction. Probably right here, perhaps. Everybody else is in a spot. I'm not going to say it's a good spot, but you've got spots. Nikolova. No, Nikolova can't get anywhere good. It's all low cover. Oh, there's a high cover spot here, but I don't think that's going to do us any good. Same with Sanusi. We need to get everybody close to the UFO. Without pulling. Alright, 
let's move here with John Thunder. Maybe that won't pull. Oh, it's concealment anyway. Yeah. There we go. So good. We do not pull, but there are the mutons. Three mutons and a floater. It looks like. There might be more to that pack. I don't know. Let's move up. And just get into... Closer range. And then reload everybody. Roger that. Alien object inside. Alien object? There's meld in them dar hills. We'll move everybody up and reload, and then overwatch where we can. Heading there now. I'm on it, Commander. Nikolova. All the way up here. Moving out. DeWitt, probably just on overwatch. Go reload with blue. Zanussi. You come Let's over here. Do this. There's beef. Uh, come on up. Location confirmed. I feel, Commander. I'm on the prize. Roger that. What are they gonna do? Eyes on target. Forty-nine percent shot from Thunder. Interesting. Forty-five. Of course they missed. So it's four mutons and two floaters. Oh, nice kill. I think that was Mike DeWitt. Very nice. So we've got two overwatches from, I believe, two floaters. We'll probably just move up and, I don't know, take a shot uh, with John Thunder. We'll probably move up. Oh, I wish we could run and gun this turn, but unfortunately, no. Roast beef. Could move in hunker. <clears throat> and then move up next turn. I think Nikolova can take the spot that John Thunder's in right now. Hmm. If we do this wrong, we end up getting flanked, and that's a huge concern. Could end up getting flanked from two directions. That's a very big concern. I'm gonna move over to the right here with John Thunder, and Got we'll try it. to try to see where we can the uh, find the floaters. Pretty sure they're back here. Right behind this muton somewhere. Who can come up here and hunker and then run and gun next turn? Roger that. Sanusi. Can where do you go? So we could suppress that guy, the one muton, I think, from here, maybe? What about here? Yeah, we can do it from here, that's for sure. Got it. Or we could flush him out. Possibly. Move in with Mike DeWitt and Hunker. Beef move in and hunker. I'm rolling. Zenerath, that's not a bad place for you. Solid copy. Okay. 
Can we get a chem grenade on these guys? Oh, look at that. Perfect. Chem grenade on the two in the back. Nice. Legal. Legal could run and gun. But I am worried that we're going to get uh, overwatched. We're going to draw that overwatch. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Right in front of the UFO, we're going to draw that overwatch. Nikolova up here. Mike DeWitt. I just really do not want a grenade from any of these guys. And it's that... It's the closest one that I'm worried about most. I might take a shot here with John Thunder, just put up hollow targeting, and then take a shot with... Oh no, never mind. Nikolova has no good shot at all. Could just move up here with Legal. take to get you flanked. I don't know if you could see these guys if they move up to flank you there. I don't think so. I think that's too far away. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, maybe. I don't think it would here would count as a flank. I think it would have to be here, and you can't step out this way, so they'd have to be here, which I think is one tile out of range. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put you here. On my way. You have no good shots, which is fine. I figured as much. I might use the flashbang. And then we could have Nikolova suppress the guy in the back. Yeah, the bigger muton, the pack leader. So I think we suppress him. Locking down. Flush or suppress? What's the flush? 61? No. Suppress this guy. Got him we'll move right there. Move up and up there. And then maybe get a better spot Got next turn now. for a grenade. I think I'll overwatch with John Thunder. If anybody moves in, we'll get a better shot. Roger. I've got my eyes on. He's already suppressed. Let's just overwatch with the guy. We don't need the flashbang yet. Alright, so the bigger muton did move. The pack leader moved. Took acid damage, but. Our 68 suppression did not hit. That sucks. He's getting out of there. He's back away. Same thing with the other one. They're running. This guy, 1% shot on Sanusi. And he misses. Good. Two floaters. What are they doing? 35% shot on Legal. Really? There's heavy fire in this zone. Interesting that it's that good. I think the other floater probably went on Overwatch. There are two, yes? Yes. The other flo floater most likely went on Overwatch. I'd love to get a floater capture. That would give me another rifle. So I honestly think we're going to try for that. How about... How about back here? Hold on, where's the motion tracker say they are? Three, so... 
one. So this is the muton. This is the floater that we can see, and this is the other one. So the other one's like right here. I could try to flank them. Oh, if we do, then what? Are there any good spots to kill the other two? Press that muton, we could. Maybe if we move out, get a suppression on the other one, on the floater. I think I'd have to run and gun. with Legal and maybe get a decent shot. But where? Hmm. Alright, John Thunder, come around first. We're going to take this high cover spot I'm on it, and just Commander. see where the other one is. There he is. He's landed, too. We have an 86. Oh, that's fantastic. So we could kill him. Maybe. We could also run and gun here. And... Or even here. And I don't know that we'd get a shot, but you could overwatch at the very least. So if anybody tries to flank us, that might help. I wish I could reach here without... Um, without the acid. Mike DeWitt. Hmm. Let's try for that. Let's try for the uh, Muton capture here. So let's move up Zenerath. See if we can get enough damage on him to capture him. Heading there now. Capture percentage is 20. Yikes. So it's 20% unless their hit points are at 6 or below. Then it starts getting better. But a 20% capture is definitely not worth it. Woo. Alright, let's try the 86 here. See if we can get a kill. Nice. Good job, John Thunder. Roast beef. Oh, roast beef. Can't really find a good spot. Which is fine. Mike DeWitt. Move up, maybe put a grenade on that guy. Moving to position. Yeah, your shot percentages are crap. What if we put an AP grenade right on him? I don't know if it's going to be enough. But it might. Let's see what it does. Four damage. Does what it says on the tin. Four damage there. I think we might run and gun with Wu to here and then Overwatch. I know it seems like a weird use of running gun. Motor. I just don't want to get flanked. On Overwatch. Probably still will. Uh, 
let's see, Legal can see both. And since we don't have the Overwatch anymore, let's move Legal. I'd love to kill this floater, and I think we can do it. The problem is then we're can leave ourselves open for the Muton if the Muton doesn't get captured. What's the capture chance now? It is 54. So, and I think... I think if you go down to 2 health, it doesn't get much better. It goes up to like 57 or something. I could be wrong. But we could also command 2 chances. I think we take it. I think we take the chance now. 54 is not horrible. I can't wait until we get the uh, the Arc Thrower project done, though. That'll increase our chances quite a bit. So yeah, we'll take the stun here. So try to. Target. Nope, that failed. Target is not disabled. So we lost the coin flip. We can do a command for another one. Really? You can't do a command? Are, are you kidding me? You can't do a command from there. Okay. Well, that's not right. How about from here? There we go. Command, and we'll do another capture attempt. 54. Hope this works. Got him. Yes. Perfect. Now with Legal, we could run and gun. Probably get a kill on this guy. I'm worried about the other two mutons. Mr. Thunderstuff, how's it going? You're awake? Fantastic. Thank you for being here, and thank you. Thank you so much for the two-month sub. Thank you, Kapow. Thanks you. Uh, Kapow, you need to sit up straight, though, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Thunder. Appreciate it. We need to give you a, uh, a Kapow with sunglasses. There. <laughs> there we go. Kapow backstretch, yep, exactly. I know, sit up straight, Kapow. Nice. Oh, uh, thank you, Thunder. That's that's awesome. It means a ton. I know you know that. It means a ton. Um, yeah, Crimson, seems like your luck has been the second time's a charm. It, it has, hasn't it? That's exactly it. So I kind of want to go here. That would avoid all of the acid. The problem is, those two guys went back into the barn. They went this way. I don't know where they are. And that bothers me. The two mutons that left, they just bugged out. So what else can we do about this guy? Uh, we could move Legal in here and then just kind of hide Legal and then move up Sanusi. No, oh, no, Sanusi can't get into a place to suppress, so that's not going to work. Yeah, we need to come up here and run and gun. There really is no other option. He's going to be a terror next turn. If I don't do something about him. What about roast beef come up and hunker? That's affirmative. And then we have what? Just those three?
There is nowhere else to go where I can see that guy. Yeah, not even here. Oh, no. Alright, Sanusi, come up this way. We'll get a shot next turn. We'll just move Legal up here. And, I don't know, hopefully the floater doesn't... He's, he's going to, though. He's going to flank. Ah. <clears throat> what if we go right here? Those two would have to come out pretty far. Go right here, try to get a shot on this guy. The only other option would be to throw a, a flashbang if we could get it on him. I don't think we could. Hunt him down. So, Legal, you're going to be in trouble. Double time. Ninety-two percent. Get him. Are you kidding? Is the target. You are freaking joking me right now. No, if he does anything stupid, they like killing Sagal <laughs> or Legal, yeah, no. No, no, no. Eight crit. Fine. One thing we're lucky they didn't do uh, do with the aliens in this game is make the make it so they can decide to kill their allies if they get knocked out rather than allow them to be captured. Yeah, that's fair. Although, Exalt do that. So I hate the fact that Legal took one damage, right? He's got one health damage. He's probably going to be out for like nine days or something. There's really not much I can do about it. We've got no shots on anyone. Uh, let's see. We could try to capture a floater. But I would very much rather capture another Muton. So I think that's what we're going to try. Try for another Muton capture. We'll go over here with Legal and probably get I'm on it, a decent shot on that one. Really? 48? Oh, come on. It's because he's lost health, but... He only lost armor, you, so Red Fog should not take effect until you lose health. That's what I think. Uh, we could put a flashbang on him. And maybe kill the other guy. So now he's got Acid and Disoriented. I think we move up with DeWitt. Woo. Got nowhere to go with you. Thunder. John Thunder, you go here. Okay. Seventy five on the floater. Zenerath just get closer, I guess, this way. The problem there is I don't know if there are any more enemies on the map. There might be, but there might not be. I honestly don't know. In a small crash like this, I don't know how many to expect. But we're going to try and capture one of these guys. Woo. What is it? You're, you can see him from here. See okay. if you get a decent shot. No, 75's not too bad. Let's try... Let's try the 75's. Let's move up... with Sanusi. We're gonna try to get in here and suppress next turn, so we need to take care of this floater. 
going to move up Zenarath here. On our way. Just hopefully don't pull anything else. Nope. Good. Do it. Not sure yet. Sanusi. Not sure yet. Roast beef. Here we go. Roast beef can get a shot. That's affirmative. 70. That's not bad. We'll take this, because I want to take the, uh... Oh, nice. Four damage. It's not a kill, so that sucks. But it's better than nothing. I want to take John Thunder's shot on the other Muton. So let's try Wu's shot here first. Good. Good kill. And John Thunder can shoot at this guy 59%. Hollow targeting, but it missed. Damage. Which means Mike DeWitt. Hmm, why don't you come up into the high cover here? Sanusi, come up here. I know it's low cover, but we'll figure out something. And Nikolova. Nikolova, go here. Affirmative. Moving out. What are they going to do? So he's disoriented and acid. He's just got acid. Suppression on Legal. Makes sense. Oh, he broke cover, too. Oh, that's not good. This guy's moving around trying to take advantage of that. Nope. Double moved. Never mind. Never mind. Well, we're in a great spot. Uh, we're in a very, very great spot for capture now. Should be able to get this guy, no problem. Uh, the suppression is gone because since he was acid affected, it doesn't matter. Um, his suppression just gets canceled, essentially, because he takes one damage by doing the suppression. Welcome. We're just going to move everybody into op into the open and take our capture. We could also wait four turns. No, oh, that's not a bad idea. Um... That's not a bad idea at all, actually. Wait until we get the command again. <laughs> I when I try and suppress and my soldiers on their acid trip, yeah. I mean that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, we'd have to wait three more turns to get a com another command. If we waited three turns, I think the meld's gonna go. So do we go for the meld, or do we go for the capture? A command capture. Oh no, not a one, another one of these people. Nope. No thank you. Give me just a second to take care of this. Band. And... Report. Spam. Well, bot accounts, actually, but, yeah. Bot account. Submit and block. There we go. All right. Hmm. I mean, we could move up here and try for the capture, but he's going to be flanked no matter what. He's going to want to move. Hmm. 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 I'd 
love to kill one of them. Let's move here, try for the capture. If it doesn't work, we'll kill this guy and maybe try for that Heading capture. That 57%. Get him. Hope this works. Nice. Target incapacitated. Got it. Oh, you were out of captures. Uh, you were out of arc thrower charges anyway. Well, that works. Rapid fire on Legal. Get him. That's it. Everything by the Good to go. Nice. I am so happy with that. We've got two captures, and both had uh, both were with rifles. Need those rifles so bad. Wounded for six days. Legal is out for six days. That's not too bad. It could have been worse. Uh, Roast Beef got a promotion to Lance Corporal, and Zenerath got promoted to uh, Gunnery Sergeant. Nice. I didn't realize... Oh, maybe I did. That Zenerath was that close to a promotion. I'm happy. Two alien rifles, two alien grenades, two floater corpses, two muton corpses, two captive mutons. Three Illyrium, 16 alien alloys, 10 weapon fragments, 25 meld, two flight computers damaged, and a power source damaged. That's fine. That works. Let's delete one of these saves. And we'll save it right here. Okay, Nexus is up in a day. Nothing was damaged. Except our soldiers. Research. Uh, we have five days left on advanced power armor. We could change the subject, though, to advanced plasma weapons. That'd be 13 days. That might not be a bad idea. Because then in 13 days, we can start crafting our first plasma rifles. Two hundred weapon fragments, though. Foundry projects. Are there any foundry projects that I wanted to do that need weapon fragments? Well, ammo conservation, yes, but I, we can hold off on that for a little bit. Uh, I definitely want armored fighters. That's two hundred alloys. How about improved avionics? That's 50 weapon fragments. Yeah, we wouldn't have enough. I suppose I could wait on this one. Super Sky Ranger, we'll have enough. Alien Nucleonics. Ooh, we won't have enough for that and uh, armored fighters. No, we would barely have enough. We wouldn't have enough to do the Super Sky Ranger as well. Although that project only takes nine days. I think we can wait. Phoenix Coil Guns is going to be really nice, but again, 100 weapon fragments. We just need a ton of weapon fragments at this point. Oh, I already have the improved arc thrower. That's why our chances are decent. I thought the improved arc thrower, though, increased your chances higher than what they are. Like, higher than this. I'm not happy with that at all. It doesn't seem like it affected our chance to capture very much. I think we're at 57 now, where we would have been at, like, 52. I have to look at that in the UFOpedia to see how much it actually is supposed to increase. Uh, what does mechanized unit defense do? Mechanized unit defense is... That is... Um, I want to say it gives extra hit points. Let me check. I'm going to look this up anyway because I want to look up the improved arc thrower project and see how much of an effect it's supposed to have. So, give me just a second to figure that out. Where is it? 
That is under the foundry. Mechanized unit defenses unlocks the core armoring and alloy carbide plating items for mechs and shivs to increase their defensive capabilities. So core armoring and alloy carbide platings, which are their equipment. Where is it? I think it just gives extra hit points. One of them gives extra hit points. The other one, uh, something else. I'm not sure. There we go. Nope, that's not the one I needed. Where is the equipment? There it is, equipment. Perfect. Miscellaneous gear, weapon attachments. Where is it? Mech equipment. Here we go. So core armoring gives uh, plus two hit points, but minus one movement, minus one mobility, but it also gives resilience, meaning you cannot be critically hit. So your mech can't be crit, and you have plus two hit points. That's what an equipment piece, but it's minus one movement. Alloy carbide plating is minus two movement, but you get four extra hit points. So that's what that does. That's what the mechanized unit defenses foundry project does. It opens up those for crafting. I, yeah, I'm iffy about that. Uh, core armoring, I think I would use because the resilience, not being able to be crit would be very, very nice. And the plus, plus two hit points, sure. Why not? The other thing I wanted to look up was the improved arc thrower. Okay, improves the arc thrower stun rate, the successful stun rate. So it's on one, two, or three hit points, it's 57% regardless. So it doesn't matter if they have one hit point, two, or three, it's 57. I think before you had to get them down to one hit point to get the 57, I think. I'm going to check that real quick because I don't know. Uh, it should be listed in here. Yeah, it is. So it's 54. At one hit point, it was 54. At two hit points, it was 48. And at three hit points, it was 42. So it didn't increase it by much. Well, at th that's not true. At three hit points, it increased it by 15%, which is nice. Yeah, Crimson, I agree with you. First one's awesome. Crit immunity is great. It really is. It absolutely is. Okay, well, that's why our capture chance is what it is. Let's get back in the game. So I'm not doing mechanized unit defenses yet, but I probably will at some point for that core armoring because that is really nice. We've got a 25% credit. I don't know what that means, though. The armor tech research credit applies. I don't know what the 25% does. Does it reduce the cost by 25%? So it was 200 just... Excuse me, 200 to start with? Maybe. I'd very much like to do alien nucleonics so that we can get more um, <clears throat> more Illyrium from our missions. I kind of think we have to wait. I think we have to wait for uh, Plasma. Can't do it yet. I just can't spend the 200 weapon fragments yet. Not with all those foundry projects coming up. So 
save it here. And let's scan. Hmm. 21 meld for 157 credits. I might do that. Depends on if we need the the credits for some of the foundry projects. But at least it's available. We'll save it again. Arge Nape of the Earth. We're going to ignore it. Hope it lands. Because I can't take down a large right now. Commander, the Council isn't going to be happy about this. We need to protect our satellites, or we're going to lose coverage. We didn't get any Commander, satellites destroyed. We're tracking what are you several talking reported about? abductions via the hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Seriously, Bradford. What are you talking about? We didn't lose any satellites. Stop complaining. Sure, we let it land. Eight hours left for alien abduction. Heavy. It's a heavy abduction. 100 credits. In the UK. We're definitely taking it. I'm just not sure exactly who to take. Probably some of our best people, to be honest. Um, we could take Muhammad. Oh, hold on. I have to scan. Again, this is... Uh, I can't forget. We're supposed to scan for Exalt. I might do it after this mission. Do Is there anybody that we need? Who's fatigued? Anybody coming up in the next eight hours? No. No, couldn't cure is up in nine hours, but that's not good enough. So we'll take probably Pedersen here as the officer. Maybe. I would love to have the Jaeger, but yeah, three days for the Jaeger. Pathfinder's out for nine. I thought it was nine to begin with. Didn't at least a day pass? I guess not. Weird. Uh, I would love to take the archer, but we don't have the grenade launcher yet. Grenade launcher is up in 10 hours. Yeah, go figure. That's annoying. Their grenade launcher is up in 10 hours, and we have, we only have 8 to take this mission. Ugh. Fine. I guess we have to do what we would normally do. Delgado. You can take El Mapache as a rocketeer. Maybe. We'll see. Take Martin Moore as an officer. That would leave us Landau. Nyberg, perhaps? Use Skedaddle as our assault, and we could take Zhang. It's just wasted experience at this point. So it is something I'm worried about. Heavy abduction is nothing to sneeze at, but I don't know. I feel like taking Zhang. I hate to waste experience. I really do. What else? We've got two infantry, an assault, a scout, a rocketeer, a medic, and a gunner. take an engineer. Unfortunately, I have nobody who can do captures. I mean, no capture-specific engineer.
can try to take Unchained. Unchained has Smoke and Mirrors, Suppression, so we'll probably give you Mayhem. That extra two damage on the Suppression is very nice, but also two extra damage for Explosive Grenades, so why not? There you go, Unchained. You can be our Suppressing Engineer. So Delgado's easy to fix. Uh, Aegis Armor. Aegis Armor and Gauss Auto Rifle. <clears throat> the Respirator Implant and a Scope. Muhammad, our Scout, Aegis, Alloy Cannon. take the motion tracker on you. And I do and I don't. Actually, yeah, let's take it. Let's take the motion tracker on you and a respirator implant. There. Landau, you have an 83 aim versus Nyberg's 79. So Landau's going to take the Aegis, the Heavy Goss, you are straight up a crit infantry, so targeting module and scope. Nyberg, basically the same thing. So Gauss rifle, targeting module and scope. You skedaddle. You get the alloy cannon, targeting module and breaching ammo. Which leaves Unchained, El Mapache, and Martin Moore. Unchained, I think, will give you the Aegis. Because Moore has seven hit points. Oh, El Mapache, though. Four hit points. Give you Carapace, and you have nine. I am iffy about that. But you take a laser rifle, recoilless rifle, rocket. You have one rocket, one shredder. Two rockets, one shredder. Give you a scope. That's not too bad. Yeah, we'll take carapace, gauss rifle. Med kits. Uh, let's see. Smoke, perhaps. And that leaves unchained your equipment. So you have smoke and mirrors. Let's take a chem grenade. I'd love to take an arc thrower. I just don't know. I a heavy abduction mission. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to take. Couple of close combat people. Most of our people are mid range, though. I really need to to build the uh, the Goss um, LMG. Just haven't done it yet. This is zero explosives, uh, except the couple of rockets here, but zero other explosives other than the Rocketeer. And I'm not sure about that. 
I don't know how bad a heavy... I honestly just don't know how bad a heavy abduction mission can get. I forgot to put Gauss Rifle on uh, Unchained. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna back out and save it. I think this is what we're gonna go with. Although, I think there's only one smoke grenade. Yeah, we might have to take another smoke grenade here. Give up on the arc thrower? If I didn't give up the arc thrower, who would take it? I might actually get rid of one of the two infantry. Yeah, Crimson, somebody that doesn't carry double grenades. I know. And that's just it. For Unchained, the the extra grenades would be nice because two extra damage from explosive grenades from Mayhem. But I also don't have anyone else that can take two chem and two smoke in one slot each. I might just get rid of the second infantry. And we'll take another engineer, because we do have plenty. We've got Kozlova here, we've got Isaacson. Uh, both of those are ready. And we've got a bunch coming up in three, four days. Also take thunder. Where is this? Urban large structure, single large building that requires entry. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of De Silva here, with 77 aim at Sergeant. Well, 77 aim at uh, Corporal, I believe. It's not horrible. And then we've got Garnier here, 70 aim at, at uh, Lance Corporal. But I was thinking about taking a Sniper, so that we can get a Sniper ranked up and get another Jaeger going soon. Thunder here, I don't think wanted to be mech'd. Take a look at my my list here. Yeah, I'm not sure if Thunder wanted to be mech or not, but it's eh. Um, Mr. Thunderstump here is a better sniper, I think, than uh, De Silva. No, well, maybe not. What if we promote De Silva, what do we give you? Either Ranger, Sharpshooter, or Damn Good Ground. So with Precision Shot and Lone Wolf, you've got a better aim and crit chance. You could get more crit chance with Sharpshooter. 
don't really need to aim in defense. I think sharpshooter would be the best choice here. Ranger is nice, and that might work. Plus one damage to the sniper rifle, and then uh, also the negates the ac uh, damage accuracy penalty with the pistol. But yeah, yeah, Crimson, I kind of agree. I'm thinking sharpshooter. 81 aim at sergeant. Okay. So that's not bad. That's actually better than thunder. Just a little bit. 7 health, 13 move, 41 will. So Thunder's got you beat on the will. But that's it. Not a huge difference. I do have a laser sniper rifle. That's... Uh, we have that, and I was crafting... I'm crafting a Goss one right now. But I don't have the... Um, we don't have the project for ammo conservation, so we've only got one shot with it. I don't know who to put in this other spot. Three smoke grenades is okay. Two chem, that's fine. If we put... Yeah, lasers get that accuracy. It's what, six, I think? Accuracy? So that is really nice. Because Lova, what do you have? You've got Sapper, Heat Warheads, and Suppression. I don't need... I don't need the extra Suppression. Isaacson? Sapper, Smoke, and Mirrors, and Suppression. And then, last but not least, Sunda. Yeah, Sapper's Heat. Probably pick Suppression here, too. Honestly. Well, I was looking for somebody to carry the Arc Thrower. I don't know if I'm going to find a good candidate for that. Let's try Thunder. Oh no, I don't have a scope for you, either. No, forget that then. Well, crap. So there's three engineers. I suppose we just take one of the engineers. One of the other engineers. Mr. Thunderstuff and no glasses. I know. I know. Uh, Crimson combined with high chance of crits, you get consistent and outstanding damage. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to take one of the other engineers. Either Isaacson, Sunda, or Kozlova. Probably Kozlova since you are closer to a rank. Hold on. Isaacson has better will and aim. Not by a lot, though. Always gotta have the scopes available? Yes. Uh, so I have four scopes, though. I just didn't want to build another one. Not yet. Maybe I will. It should be enough. Alright, we'll take Kozlova. And with Kozlova, we're going to take... I am going to take the Arc Thrower. No, I'm not. You are going to take your grenades. I'm 
pretty sure then Unchained can take the Arthur. Or even Martin Moore. Oh no, because you, you have command. Never mind. You can't command yourself to do another arc thrower. Oh, that's why. I can't take her. Son of a pup. I backed out and I didn't mean to. Crap, crap, crap. I backed out and I did not mean to. Yeah, we can't take Kozlova. Because she doesn't have... Uh, what I really want, which is... Stop backing out! Jeez! Smoke and mirrors is what I really want. Which means Isaacson? Yes, Isaacson has smoke and mirrors. So, Isaacson, you can take your smoke and mirrors, you can take... Explosive Grenade, Goss Rifle, and Carapace Armor? Aegis. Aegis gives you better move. There. That should work. Um, you have a move of 12, and Unchained has a move of 13. So I think Unchained is going to uh, Unchained's going to take the Arc Thrower. There. So we've got still three smoke grenades, which will be fine. We've got some more explosives. We've got chem. Everything's looking good. Save the game here. And I think everybody's in the wrong place. The wrong starting place in the squad, but that's okay. Prepare for deployment, we'll fix strike it. one. The next deployment site is in the UK. Mm. This map updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there Depends and see the Depends on where they start us as to whether or not can. this map is good or bad. That's a lot of maps, but a lot of maps are the same thing. It depends on where they start you. They can start you in a really bad place. This one, we'll see. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike All right, I'm okay with the starting location. It's not bad. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. It could definitely be worse. So, Mohammed. Let's save it here. Gonna take the roof fast? I don't know. I don't know, where is the pipe up to the roof? I don't think we have access to it. No, I don't know how to get up there. I think we have to go all the way down the side of the building here. Alright. I guess we move into the building then. So Muhammad has concealment. Theoretically, I could move Muhammad right here, and we should be fine. Motion tracker! I think they're in the building right here. I'm gonna move into the corner here. We'll get concealment. We can act as our own battle scanner. Where are they? Ah, Thin Men right here. Okay. There's another unit in this room, it looks like. Probably right here. Right behind the door. 
So Thin Men to the right, whatever that unit is to the straight ahead from here. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to pull them if we move in. Might not have a choice at this point, though. I don't know where they're going to go if we don't move in. Uh, but if we do, we have only two high cover spots here. We could dash to another high cover spot here, but we might pull... This group might patrol into us. I am worried about that. The problem is we can't go into the building at all without pulling them. Unless we move behind. We can come up behind the building. That's an idea. I think we're going to do that. So I think Landau is going to come up essentially here. I don't know where those thin men are going to move, but they might patrol into us. If they do, I'm on it, Commander. Then we'll take care of it next turn. I'm on the move. Unchained. It's got our capture. I think I'm going to move this way with Unchained. Stepping off. El Mapache, I'm not sure yet. Isaacson. Isaacson only has one smoke grenade? Oh, you had two. Yeah, you have smoke and mirrors. And you're carrying a smoke grenade, so you should have two. You skedaddle. Hmm. Maybe we go here. Get into that location. Martin Moore, stay with them. Copy that. So we have Isaacson and El Mapache left. I think we're gonna come. Both of you are gonna come right around. Roger, this. Roger. Overwatch. Let's see what they do. Thin men, and then what if, whatever the other group is, whatever they happen to be. Here's more thin men. Newton. Interesting. When this mission is finished, I'm curious whether the grappling hook armor has limited uses of the grappling or unlimited. It is unlimited. All grappling hook armor is unlimited, as far as I know. I think we're just going to have to move in. So, let's go right here with Delgado. I'm on the move. Enemies in sight. Hello. Here they come. Or back off, anyway. So we can suppress one of them. Martin Moore. Um, stay close. Okay. And I'll go here. We got nobody, huh? Not happy with that at all. You skedaddle! Oh, I wish I knew where the others were now. I wish I could see them. Muhammad. Probably just have to move up. What does the motion tracker say? Oof. Too much. The motion tracker says too much. If 
I move up here, I'm probably going to pull whatever those other two are, because they're probably in visual range. They might not be. But I'm going to guess they probably are. Let's do it anyway. I'm these rolling. thin men, I need to take care of these thin men. Got something over here. Holy crap, wait. What? DT's trying to crawl on my flank. Uh okay. Well that's not what I wanted. Here, we'll take a 74 on this guy. And we got a thin man kill. Good. Yeah, this is not what I wanted. And none of you can get to the other side of the door. You're joking, right? Wow. Alright, we'll move up on chain. Just so we can suppress... At least we can get a couple of the mutons suppressed. <sighs> Move in with Isaacson somewhere. Here, probably. Since we don't see anything, Moving and then we'll get into a better position, position next turn. Landau's now ha uh, now has a target, but it's not very good. Martin Moore. Yikes. Uh, Uskedaddle. Again, yikes. We could run and gun to the corner. It's just not going to do any good. Go this side. You see nothing. Not a single thing. You're joking. Martin Moore, go to this side. And your shots are crap, but I figured they would be. We have to take the 41 from Landau. Or steady. Mutown by the car can be killed with a frag. If I had a frag close enough, yes. But unfortunately, our rocket's over here, so not gonna happen. And the frag grenade, I already rushed into this corner because she was over here and had no way of reaching there anyway, so that wouldn't have been feasible. Yeah, I wish. I wish I had a frag grenade over there. Unfortunately, don't. I think I have to suppress the big muton. Copy that. Yeah, it put up hollow targeting and it did two damage because of his mayhem, but both damage just were negated by damage reduction. That's stupid. That is ridiculously stupid. I'm gonna move in El Mapache here. And then next turn, maybe we can get a rocket. I don't know. Overwatch with more, maybe. There's nothing else we can do. Suppress this guy. Oh, he's already suppressed. Alright. Steady. Watch. I got my eyes on. And here come another set of men. Nope. 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 One percent shot on Unchained. That's a miss. Good. At least it didn't destroy his cover. Suppression on more. Gotcha. Fire on Muhammad. Twenty percent. And he missed. Good. And it didn't destroy his cover either. This Mutant's moving around. What's he doing? Blood call? I don't know why he would blood call. Everybody else already did their movement for the turn. 
Fire on Muhammad, 43%? Holy crap! How does that Thin Man have such good accuracy? And now we have a whole new pack of Thin Men. So we have a, uh, we have 11 aliens total, 6 Thin Men, 4 Mutons, and then the one that was killed. 6 Thin Men, 4 Mutons. Not happy at all. This is just absolutely bonkers. I could run and gun and kill somebody. But I don't know that's going to do a lot of good. We could probably get a flank here. That other muton's going to get a flank. 71% uh, on the big guy. So much low cover. Alright, what about a rocket over here somewhere? How about this? How about a rocket right here? We can blow up some of their cover, maybe tick the end of the car. Come on! Give me a shot! Try it here, I guess. Better than nothing. We did eliminate a couple of uh, spots of cover for them. So I'm okay with that. Which means we now have a shot. Come on, give me the right people. Got a 100% shot with Lando. Let's see if we can get a kill here. Nice! 15 damage, and that's a kill. That was the commander, that was the leader for that pack. We could move out and take a shot here, probably get a kill on one of the Thin Men. The problem is the other Thin Men. We could suppress this guy. Isaacson. Isaacson could move up and hunker, but that's about the best we have at the moment. Or we could throw a smoke grenade somewhere. We could try to move uh, somewhere where we can throw a frag grenade. I just don't like leaving you in low cover. Especially with thin men that have that good of a name insane. No good shots with Muhammad at the moment. What if we move over here and take a shot? I don't know that it's going to be a very good one. The alternative is to move here. And I think we could get flanked pretty easily. Like this muton come up here and I don't know. Just I'm worried about that. He'd be flanked on this side, and I don't think he'd want to do that. Yeah, honestly I don't think you'd get flanked. I think you could move here, Muhammad. Headed there now. Let's try it. 5% lightning reflexes. Whoa! That misses. Good. And, ooh, another 5%. I'm under fire. I didn't realize there was a thin man over here still. Visual on the goods. 
we see Meld somewhere. Oh, over there. Gotcha. In the building. Well, I don't like this guy. At all. Not happy there. I think we need to take Isaacson into a place where we can get a grenade over on this guy. Is it possible? If we leave you in low cover... Can we throw a grenade on these guys here? How far can you get it? Maybe? Roger that. No. It's too far. That's a shame. Okay, uh, what else? What else can we do? We can move into low cover and try to get another shot, another suppression something from here. Landau's got nothing. What about Martin Moore? can't get a grenade in here either. And that suppression is killing me. You skedaddle. I don't know. I, I swear there's another thin man that was behind this car. I'm gonna risk it. Alright, you skedaddle. Get over here. Yep, there he is. So if we take out the suppressor, and you skedaddle has close combat specialist, this guy moves. We should be able to get a shot on This should kill him. So now when that other thin man moves, we should get a shot on him. Moving. We might be able to get a kill. Headed there now. Might be able to get a kill with our gunner. If not a suppression. We could throw a smoke grenade here and get everybody that's in low cover. We could also do it with Martin Moore. Yeah, let's do it with Martin Moore first. Yes, Commander. We'll throw the smoke grenade here. And get everybody that's in low cover. Wish I could get it just a little farther. There, perfect. Pop and smoke. That's a good spot. Okay, let's try for. We can try for a seventy-one here. We could always suppress. I think suppressing a flanked person is really not going to help. Got him. 10 crit. Nice. And then 69 on this guy. Or suppression on this one. Uh, 
Unchained. Unchained it would be very nice if we could get you into a really good spot. How about here? I'm rolling. 75 on this guy. Ooh. Ooh, that's tempting. Oh, that is so tempting. All right, I think we're going to take the 69 over here from Isaacson. Can you kill him, please? Yes! Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. And we can get a kill here or do some decent damage here. I think we go for the kill. Good job. And last but not least... I don't know. I might... I might want to overwatch with Unchained. My biggest fear is this guy. What's he going to do? He could theoretically come all the way out here and flank. He could possibly even get a flank on us here. I am concerned about that. I was hoping that one of our people could suppress it. But nowhere that I moved was it able to give me the suppression. There wasn't a single spot that I could find. I think I am going to suppress. Blasting that Two damage and hollow the targeting. They're trying to pull back. Uh, 45% all the way across the field. Holy cow. Look, look at their aim. Their aim is insane. 1% shot on our suppressor. I'm all right. At least he didn't try to flank. This one moves up and... Suppression on Unchained. Okay. At least it didn't blow up its cover. And that one moves back. And double moves. I'm fine with that. What about this guy? There we go. Close combat specialist. Get him, you skedaddle. Nice. Perfect. I love it. Thank you. That was so good. Now what? Now, Muhammad. Muhammad could get a flank on this guy. You skedaddle... can't. <laughs> you skedaddle could at least get into high cover, but that's about it right now. I think we have to wait a turn or two. Unchained can't do anything, needs to reload anyway. Hmm. Delgado. Delgado's got nothing but low cover. So, I'm thinking Isaacson helps with a smoke grenade. Delgado moves up to... To uh, suppress somebody. And Landau. What do we do with Landau? Landau moves over here, maybe? So there's what? There's one who moved here. H how many are left? Fourth and men, that's it. So one, two, three, four. So we can see them all. 
Let's move Delgado here. That'll way. tempt them to flank. Should be still in smoke. Yep, it is. We move up here Moving. with Landau. We have a 51, 46, and a 46. We can suppress three out of the four. One, two, three. So we've got the big guy. We can suppress the big guy. Theoretically, Isaacson could move over here and throw a grenade on him. I think I might do that. That's affirmative. Yes. Oh, I might get both of their cover? Quite possibly. Let's try it. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. So now, Landau's got an 81 on this guy. We're going to take that. 100% crit chance. Beautiful. Good kill. We don't really even need to move, and we can kill this guy. This one, not so much. Moore moves up, and we've got nothing. Elma Pache. Yeah, any rocket that we use is just not going to be worth it. <clears throat> so let's move up into high cover. Yes, sir. We can suppress the suppressor. Which I think is our best idea. Probably just reload with Unchained. Move up and overwatch with the Uskadaddle. In case he decides he wants to flank. Round to that. Scanning. X-ray locked. Suppress the suppressor. That leaves us with three people. We'll overwatch, or, sorry, reload with Unchained. Overwatch with Martin. Mother. Covering now. And just kill this guy. Good job. So he's flanked, he's gonna want to move. But he's surprised. 91. Oh, nice. Look at that. Beautiful. So there's one. Thin man left, that's it. And he's backing off. Oh, suppression on Unchained, They've never mind. Down. That's fine. Does he have covering fire? Opportunist. Executioner, lightning reflexes, leap, acid, and sharpshooter. No, he does not have covering fire, so we're gonna suppress him back. Aye, aye, ready. That's two automatic damage, one and one DR. And since he took the damage, let's move up and see if we can get another grenade. Get rid of his cover. There you go. Grenade. We got him. Oh yeah. Who needs this experience? Ah, El Mapache's already got a rank. Fantastic. I'm loving it. What about Muhammad? Muhammad is close. We'll probably get the kill with Muhammad. Ooh, Delgado's very close. Let's move up with Delgado. Ninety-one. Nice, good kill. 
kill. He's down. So I think there's one more pack, probably still in this room somewhere. On my way. Got it covered. Okay. So let's get everybody as close as we can. Reload. Steady weapon with El Mapache. Come on. There you go. Martin Moore. We'll go. Land out reload. Here they are. And coming right through the door. Gotcha. Too bad we didn't have any overwatches. Unfortunately. That's fine. We should be able to take them. The only thing I'm worried about is the sectoid in the back. I might not be able to reach. I definitely would like to get a kill. Or a... A stun. Not a kill. A stun. Would be very nice. Ah, never mind. We can get the sectoid right here. We could also get the Thin Man. You skedaddle has a run and gun. Ah, perfect. So what do we need more of? Not sure. Oh, too bad. You're one square out from getting a flank here. That would be so nice. Okay, well, in that case. Just have to do this in the right order, otherwise, probably leave ourselves open. Where's the capture? Unchained. You can't make it to any of these three, but you can make it to this guy. I don't know if we can capture this guy. I think we'll have to see what happens. Martin Moore can get a flank on him. Got it. Try for the kill here. Nicely done. You, Skedaddle, will probably take one of the two in the back. Who's got the other one? Muhammad can take the other one. So that's these two done. Roger, track. Back straight down. Shotgun to the face. New skedaddle running gun. And get out here. Still see that guy? Interesting. Alright, just kill him. Good going. Delgado. I might try to flank this. I might try to um, pistol shot this guy from somebody, but who? If we do it with Lando, we have Ranger and a 20% crit chance. Let's try with Lando. There we go. Three damage. Perfect. So this works out perfectly because I can move up and try the capture. And if it doesn't work, we have plenty of people to get the kill. Light him up. Nope. It failed. It's still up. Target is still up. Ah well. Elmapache. Kill him. 
Because I think Lando doesn't... Well, Lando needs the experience, but we're not close enough with Lando to make a difference. Isaacson... Well, Isaacson's a little closer. We've got the kill regardless. Ooh, Delgado needs it. Oh, Delgado cannot get close enough to get a flank. That's fine. Just move up here. Try to kill him. Nice. 83. You got it. All objectives complete. She did not get the promotion though, it looks like. Ah oh, well. What are you gonna do? performance by our soldiers Very nice. the so nobody got injured three or four days fatigue research. for everyone El Mapache got promoted to tech sergeant we got a sectoid corpse 10 thin man corpses 4 mutons 27 weapon fragments 27 meld 100 credits and panic in the UK decreased we will be in touch commander we have 1084 credits at the moment I think that's the most credits I've ever had at one time in Longmoor I wish we had been able to get the capture, though. Oh, well. Satellite Nexus up very soon. Satellite Nexus there it online. is. We are going to launch satellites over India and China. As much as I would rather wait for uh, the end of the month to see if we can get a request for a satellite, I we need to do those foundry projects. So I'm going to save it real quick first. Need to start some of those foundry projects. So we've got 21 meld they're asking for for 157 credits. I might do that depending on how much everything costs. But let's get our satellites up. China. Satellite there you go. Launched. And India. Satellite launched. So now we've got the entire right side full of satellites. There's still one more we can launch. I'm saving it because either we're going to try and do a base assault with it, or uh, maybe by the end of the month I'll put it up somewhere over Argentina or Brazil. This is central. Probably Brazil. I'm receiving you. But we'll see. What do you mean you think you saw a snake? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Nothing in the repair bay, correct? Boundary. Okay, here we go. Armored Fighters is now 300 credits. 150 alloys. 30 floater corpses. What else? Improved avionics, 300 uh, credits, 50 weapon fragments. Yeah, we still don't have enough to do that, and um, the research on the plasma. Yeah, it didn't reduce the uh, weapon fragment requests, or re requirement, but it reduced, what, credits, illyrium, and alloys, I think? I'd like to do alien nucleonics. Super Sky Ranger. Mm, I'll probably do improved avionics. This gives us, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, it gives us 10% extra hit chance with our aircraft. Let me just double check that real quick. Foundry projects. Here we go. This one is... Improved avionics. Increases interceptor aim by 10. Yes. So that gives 10 extra percent chance to hit. We can do that. We can do... 
armored fighters increases all interceptor HP by a thousand, and that would reduce the amount of time that our aircraft are out because every hit that we take is less of a percentage of their health. So it would reduce the total amount of time that our aircraft take to repair. Right now, it's not necessary. Like, right now we're doing well enough that we don't have to worry about it. So I am leery about that one. I want it. It takes seven days to do, though. So ultimately, I think we can wait until we get a couple of aircraft that are really heavily damaged and try it at that point. So I might hold off on that one for now. Alien grenades I want. Yeah, we kind of need this. Right now, most of our high explosive grenades are pretty useless. Unless they have sapper. Unless uh, the person using it has sapper. So that's 20 fragments. Improved avionics, 50 fragments. Alien nucleonics, we could do that too. Okay, let's do improved avionics. Phoenix coil guns would be really, really nice for our Phoenix cannons. It adds a, a lot of damage and it adds um, a decent amount of armor penetration. But we're not taking on anything that needs that right now. I'm not shooting down large UFOs yet. I think I want to wait until we have this and armored fighters. Um, maybe... Alien Nucleonics is extra Illyrium. Yeah, I think that would be good. That's 10 days. We have 181 weapon fragments. I'm gonna do alien grenades. 334 credits left. I could get the money to do ammo conservation. Ammo conservation would give every single weapon we have one extra shot. How long does ammo conservation take? Just out of curiosity. 13 days? That would just mean that our plasma would be delayed that much longer. As it is, it's already going to be delayed at least another mission or two. Probably two, another two missions, at least. I just want Phoenix coil guns, too. It would be so nice to have those. Well, we could do armored fighters. We could do armored fighters and then wait until we have enough fragments to do plasma. 
We could even do the Super Sky Ranger right away. That's going to take a lot of what we have. So we just need more credits, and then we could do... Uh, something else. We could do the Super Sky Ranger. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. What about the busy. fragments? What about the advanced plasma weapons? Ready for production. 80 Illyrium, 20 alloys, 200 weapon fragments. How are we doing on Illyrium? We're fine. Okay. Let's get the Super Sky Ranger done. They want 21 meld for 157. You do that. Or we have some stuff to sell. I don't think we have enough. Enough that I would want to sell anyway. We're close. We don't need that many mutons. How much do we need altogether? 150 total? That would just basically bring us down to nothing, alloys wise. I'm not ready to do a base assault. I don't think I will be until next month, at least. If not, a little further. But everything else that's here, I don't know that I want to do it at the moment because of the weapon fragment cost. Wingtip Sparrowhawks are going to make it harder to bring down um, intact UFOs. I think they do a lot more damage so you get less resources. Uh, that's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard. Shaped armor I would like to do because that increases the health of our mechs and shivs, I think. Uh, but we can't do that yet. We don't have enough floater corpses. Yeah, we can't do ammo conservation because the weapon fragments. I think that's it. We could do an improved med kit. 20 meld and 20 thin men. Gives you three extra health, so seven health on a medkit. I think we're going to start to need that. This still has 19 days, so we're fine for now. Oh yeah, I need to scan. I need to scan for Exalt as well. What else can I sell? Probably a Carapace. Honestly, we don't need five. We're not going to have that many damaged um, Aegis, Carap Aegis armors. Could probably sell a few mut um, some Mutons. Okay. So it's either improved med kit or Super Sky Ranger. I think I'm gonna do the improved med kit right now. We'll do I'll the make Super sure Sky Ranger soon. Begins immediately. And as soon as we've got something, I'll be in touch. Where 
Where's that carapace? Where did I see that? There it is. That and... A couple of mutons. Three mutons. Intel scan complete. No new exalt cells located. Uh oh. All right, this is the first time that I've not seen an exalt cell. So what do we do? If we scan and we do not see an exalt cell, what do we do? Just a second here. Covert Ops, there we go. Looking at the UFOpedia. So. So spawn randomly. The wait until Exalt attacks you in May. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Okay, if no exalt cell is detected, scan again after seven days, which is guaranteed to locate a cell. So we need seven more days, and then that's guaranteed to locate a cell. Got it. Oh, Windows, play nice. What's your status? Over. We're getting a lot of garbage on the so line. Scanned You're not coming today, in clearly. The ninth. So we got to scan again. On, uh, what are we gonna do? Seven days? So, alright. 16th? There. Okay, and if that's the case, what else? Grenade launcher's coming up. Gene Lab, Goss Long Rifle, very nice. Side training, yes. We spent a ton of money. I would love to do Armored Fighters, uh, or have Armored Fighters ASAP, seven days. I'd love to do Ammo Conservation, but I don't want to waste those weapon fragments. We need about 40, 39 weapon fragments before we can do the Plasma Research. Yeah, as soon as we get the 39 weapon fragments, I think we're going to do that plasma research. I am curious, how many rifles do we have? Six. Nice! So we can make three rifles pretty much off the bat. I mean, as soon as we get the resources to do so. Let's save it. Actually, I'm going to save it in a different spot because we just made a decision. And in case I made the wrong decision and screwed something up royally, who knows? Eight alloys back from our grenade launcher. Yes, fantastic. Now our archer is going to be useful. 20 Thin Man corpses for two engineers. Yes, please. Yes, please, and thank you. Um, it's a lot of Thin Man corpses, and I would love to make another chem grenade, but we need those engineers. What are we at now? 68. And we can't build another Nexus until we have 80. 80 engineers, yep. So that's the next step, is to build another Nexus. If we built a Nexus here, that would give us two, three, four, four more satellites, which means we'd have five total that we can place, so that would be one, two, three, four, five. That's all of the rest of the satellites we need for the rest of the game. Oh yeah, we're gonna take this. Thank y'all. Contact detected. Nape of the Earth very large. Yeah, we are gonna let it land. It better land, anyway. Here's our gene lab. Nice. 
And if I remember correctly, Crimson, you wanted a gene modded sniper. So let's set you up with a sniper. What do we have? We have Thunder is already a viewer. We've got Romero. De Silva. And Garnier. I think Romero is probably a good one for you. Vital point targeting, sharpshooter, precision shot, lone wolf. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, did I miss something? I am so sorry. I must have missed that part of the chat, Crimson. I apologize. Your only other question is whether there's any special requirements to use to the usage of the grapple that would make jump legs superior. Um, no. The... So the only reason why jump legs are superior, in my opinion, is um, the fact that the grapple, you can only grapple to a spot and cannot move after that uh, for your one action. It takes one action to grapple to that spot. And so basically you can only grapple to the edge of any higher ground, period. Whereas with jump legs, you can move beyond that. So jump legs, if you're standing right next to a wall, you can actually jump on top of the wall and keep moving in your first action as opposed to grapple would only let you grapple to the very top of the wall, and then you would have to use a second move to move wherever you want to go. That's the main difference there. Um, you know, jump legs just mean you ignore height, essentially. Not really, but you can keep moving in your first move. That's the main difference. That's how I look at jump legs. Jump legs are extremely valuable and I think they're better than a grapple in a lot of situations but you have to take a mod for it you know you have to actually mod your soldier so you take extra rest time for that you know but you can also the on the plus side you can also wear heavier armor it has its positives and negatives Romero at tech sergeant 89 aim which is pretty good 55 will. Yeah, I think we could gene mod you. What do we have? Neural damping. Whoops. Smart macrophages. I could give you smart macrophages and you don't have to worry about getting um, strangled, right? Oh, no. It's complete immunity to poison and acid. You can still get strangled. Gotcha. Hyperreactive pupils. Plus 10 to aim on any, any shot after a miss. Or the height advantage difference, depth perception. Plus five aim and plus five crit chance. You do that. Uh, adrenal neurosympathy is not worth it. Bioelectric skin. That would make you immune to strangulation. So you wouldn't have to worry about seekers strangling, but they would still be able to shoot you. And of course, jumpy legs or adaptive bone marrow. I don't know, honestly. I'm not sure yet. But I think I'm going to write that down just so I don't forget. So that's written down. Pharaoh 
with me just a moment. Just checking a couple of things here real quick. All right, just taking a look at the UFOpedia. Here we go. Hmm. Chameleon skin and aim boost you wanted, huh? So depth perception or hyperreactive pupils? I'm not sure which to go with. We're going to hold off on that for now. And I don't have the chameleon. We have bioelectric skin. Uh, but wasn't there a chameleon one? That we just haven't unlocked yet. Which is fine. We can hold off on that. But we'll make you, uh, we'll get you set up with Romero here. Customize, last name. Uh, I don't think it's going to fit everything. Oh, it will. Nice. Very nice. Perfect. So we'll go with that. You are our most uh, highly ranked sniper at the moment, Tech Sergeant. Thunderstump is catching up on you. Psy Labs, we've got Filipovic coming out. We've got Ankabaya coming out in five days. Ooh, Filipovic's only got a day left. Ankabaya's 44%. Yikes. Why is that? Is it directly related to your will? Yeah, 39 will, so 44%. I guess you get an extra 5%. Because Flipovic has a 64, so 69% chance. So it looks like they just add 5% to whatever your will is. And that's your training chance. At least for rank 1. Let me save the game again, so I don't mess anything up. Check the situation room. So that's the meld for 157 credits. We've got this UFO who should land. Yep, swarming terror mission. 24 hours? What about our Jaeger? Where is the Jaeger? There it is, one day. So the Jaeger is going to be up in a day. I don't know if he's going to be ready in time. I wish it would give me the hours, the amount of hours he's fatigued. Yeah. I wish it would give it to you here. At least. If not in the previous screen. But I would love to take our Jaeger. We cannot. Probably won't be able to. Uh, I think we're going to wait until this is just about done. And see what happens. Duarte return to duty. Lambert. Wu. Lawson. Pedersen. Kim. Seokan. Goss long rifle is built, so 10 alloy and 5 lyrium back. Isaacson. And then a. You know, it's about to expire, so that's it. That's it. How long does he have? Two hours. Oh, we were two hours away. That sucks. Two hours from having the Jaeger ready for this terror mission. Fine. 
Well, if that's the case, then I might just reload because I I only wanted the Jaeger. I didn't care really too much about anybody else. I only wanted the Jaeger available. So it doesn't matter. We'll send the Sky Ranger right away. It's a better bet. It's a better move to send the Sky Ranger immediately. So the sooner these guys come back off of fatigue, you know. Tibet is our shooty scout, correct? Correct, but you do not have Battle Scanner. I need the Battle Scanner perk. I suppose we take Nunez. Kelly has an 82 aim. Nunez has an 83. That's fine. She has now the choice. Hit and run in the zone or concealment. Whereas... Kelly... Yeah, we don't need concealment, I don't think. The roadway. Corridor with numerous vehicles means there's probably not going to be a lot of high cover. It just depends on which roadway it is. Could take Clark. Not the worst idea. I'm not going to try for any captures, so that's out. We can take Kunkir. No, oh, no. Kunkir has the experience bonus. Uh, I'm not going to take you because a lot of our people aren't going to need the experience. couple of assaults that we could take. Actually, you know, I might. Although with Kunkir, we don't have Stay Frosty, so your fatigue is going to be more. Let's see. Kunkir was a defensive suppressing infantry, so for that, maybe Resilience. Yeah, I'm thinking possibly Resilience. The other two options are Sentinel, which allows two reaction shots on Overwatch, but we're not Overwatching very much. We're actually going to suppress more often than we Overwatch and shoot when we're not suppressing, if possible. Bring him on would be really nice if we had increased critical hit chance, but we don't. We've got Steadfast, we've got Will to Survive, Suppression, and Tactical Sense, so we're fully defensive. I'm thinking Resilience is just the way to go here. 83 aim, 7 health, 11 move, 72 will. 72 will is pretty good. Should be fine there. Kunkir has a uh, Kunkir here, here has the increase to um, to will per nationality in the squad. I want to say it's the Legio Patria Nostra one instead of Stay Frosty, and it just means that all of these people are going to be out an extra day, so they'll be out for you know four or five days instead of three or four. But the rest of our people are coming back really soon, within a day or two, for the most part. So we're not going to be short on people. I'll take two assaults. Fontaine. 
We've got close combat specialist, aggression. I think rapid fire. It's just so good. I don't get me wrong, I love close encounters and hit and run. But I think with your aim and your move, I think we want to run and gun as much as possible. I think close encounters and hit and run tend to work better, in my opinion, when you have a higher move to begin with. Because neither one of them work with run and gun. Yeah, this does not work against flying units and cannot be used if run and gun is activated. That's hit and run. And close encounters cannot combine with run and gun. However, rapid fire can. So for her lower move, I think that's her best bet. And for the second assault, we'll take away. Same thing with Wei. Kind of. Actually, no. Wei was going to be... Oh, Min Wei. Um, I think I was setting Min Wei up to be our... Uh, our Covert Ops Specialist. Steadfast. Will to survive. Close encounters would give you extra will, but rapid fire is better for the pistol. Because you can run and gun with a pistol and rapid fire, and that would be really nice. Hmm. And your will is fine, but... You know, we're probably not going to make you a Psy Soldier or anything. I mean, I might. I might, but it's not... I'm not going to build you for it. Because Close Encounters isn't going to be as useful. I guess we don't take you. We can take the Archer. That'll be fun. We've got the Grenade Launcher. So, let's take the Archer. She's got Heat Warheads and Mayhem, plus Bombard, so extra damage on the, the grenade. That'll be fun. Grenade Launcher. What else? Probably a Scope. High Cap Mags. Couldn't cure. You're pretty easy. Aegis. Heavy Goss. Scope, and you're going to be suppressing a lot. Yeah, maybe high cap mags. You don't have a great crit chance to begin with. Kelly, Aegis armor. Probably take the other shot. No, we know we can't take the other shotgun. Never mind. Goss rifle. If we're taking two scouts, cannot take the other shotgun. Motion tracker and implant. No, let's take another battle scanner. That'll give you three battle scanners. I'll take maybe another class that can take a battle scanner, either an engineer or another scout. I'm not sure. Clark, Aegis, auto rifle. Respirator and scope. Where's my other assault? Batakaria, but she's a lower rank skull, uh, assault. That's it, though. Everybody else is within a day or two. And Legal, who is going to be our our other uh, covert ops specialist, is going to be out for your 
five days, I believe it is. All right, Minway. We just have to remember that Minway does not have close combat specialist. Although, I'll bet you, Bataria does. Yes, Bataria, you're coming. Aegis, Elekin, targeting module, and we could put a motion tracker on you. I'm not trying to capture anything, that's for sure. Wouldn't mind a medic, but that's going to reduce the effectiveness overall of the squad. Could take some smoke grenades, though. And last but not least... What does Kozlova the Engineer have? Sapper Heat Warhead Suppression. Possibly. Or Sunda, who has Sapper and Heat. And that's it for Engineers. The rest of our Engineers are out for about a day. Actually, Duarte should be up real soon, but yeah, everybody else is out about a day. All right, Kozlova. Uh, the only other option would be a Rocketeer. Krishnir? Or Entropies? Entropies, you've got to level up. Rank up for Entropies, what do we give you? You've got Heat Warhead Snapshot. Probably Shredder Ammo, to be honest. Yeah, let's take Shredder so you have at least one Shredder Rocket. the experience more. Kozlova. Entropies. You guys are all a little out there with your experience. Let's take Entropies, I think. Okay, most everybody's equipped. Just have to finish off with the last couple of people. Kelly's got... A Goss Rifle. Entropies, you have to have... Ooh, you've got four health? I think we are going to take the Aegis Armor on Entropies. And a Laser Rifle for the extra aim, I suppose. Scope. Scope, two rockets, and a shredder. That should be good. That means we'll have two med kits, two smoke grenades. Oh no, that's right. I wanted another battle scanner. Yeah, I've got to take entropies out. I wanted another battle scanner. So, we'll take. Kozlova. Oh, you don't have smoke and mirrors. Did Sunda? No. Sunda does not have smoke and mirrors either. That means you only get one battle scanner, correct? Correct. Correct. 
All right then, motion tracker. Yeah. Gonna be three battle scanners. This will be a fourth. And we'll just use the motion tracker on Bodicaria. I had somebody else that had smoke and mirrors so I could take an, uh, another couple of battle scanners. That's unfortunate. That's fine. Uh-oh. There we go. For some reason, the stream just uh, had a hiccup. I apologize for that. I don't know why it decided it didn't want to work for a little bit. We're going to go a little bit longer today than usual. So I am going to keep streaming for just a little bit more. We're going to do this mission, I think. I think that might be where we call it. I'm not overly happy with this setup, but it's... We'll make it work. We'll figure it out. Duarte has returned. Lambert's returned. Touching down. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance. So that's ah, our next this drop map. Site. I know this map. There so, are early reports indicating yeah, alien some high cover. in one of their major cities. Our forces are on standby for deployment. We'll be okay. Oh, I don't know why my bitrate is so bad right now. I apologize. Central, strike one is locked and loaded. Awaiting drop orders. I just alt tabbed real quick to. That's why the uh, screen froze because I alt tabbed to find out why my bitrate might be as bad as it is. It doesn't look good. Civilians are in the AO. Yeah, it's saying that it's unstable. Hmm. Well, we'll go on for a little bit longer if we can, as long as Twitch lets us. I don't know why my connection's unstable, but hey. Save the game right at the beginning, and... Here we go. Where's my motion tracker? There it is. Bodicaria, what do you see? So there's a pack over here. Let's see. There's two... So it looks like there's a pack right in between these two civilians. And I don't know if they're up on top of the truck, if they're right here next to the truck. I don't know, but I think we'll go left first. Aye, aye. Well, that is not where I clicked. That was a misclick. Crap. We have another group right around here somewhere, perhaps. See these two civilians and then this one. One, two. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where. I think these might be off of the tracker, the motion tracker. 
because this one here is this guy. Which would mean this one is this one. That means that this guy... No, that's not true. It can't be. Unless we don't see this one. So these two here, at the very top of the motion tracker, might be this one and this one. And if that's the case, then the the uh, pack is right inside the pillar, which is weird. Uh, we should be able to move up and throw a battle scanner this way, and then we can move up here. Where's the other battle scanner? There we go. Kozlova can move this way and throw one over here. Getting it done. How about on top of the truck? I've done it before. This should work. Scanners up. Ah, uh, seekers. Okay. And there's the Queen Chrysalid. I don't want to pull all of them. Chrysalids and the Seekers? I really don't. But the good thing is, cover doesn't matter so much. Oh, if we go that way, we're going to see him. Let's go here with Kelly. No. No, no, no. Go here with Kelly and throw a Battle Scanner that way. Moving. Can we get it right on top of this truck? We can. That's what I want to see. Right on top of the truck. Battle scanners up. There's another pack of chrysalids. Gotcha. All right, I'm gonna take everybody else over to the right-hand side and get ready for those floaters. Solid copy. Moving out. Or not floaters, sorry, seekers. On my way. I'm on the move. Apparently you only get two grenades with a grenade launcher. I'm not very happy about that. Heading to that location. Well, let's overwatch with everybody. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I feel, Commander. On Overwatch. I'm watching. I'm on. I feel, Commander. There's a drone and cyber disk. Oh no. And another cyber disc pack. Holy crap, that's not good. Here come the seekers. Is everyone good? Everybody missed. Target still up. Target four people. Everybody missed. And five. Five people and everybody missed. And that last one was a 65, really. Oh, that's not true. Somebody it must have hit. Interesting. I didn't see the hit, but somebody must have. Need to find some new cover. They're shooting their attack. What just happened? How did you shoot Target on the very first turn that you activated? And we've got chrysalids active now. What? is this?
how did you shoot on the turn that you activated? I am so confused. And now we're screwed because there's going to be those chrysalids that activated just surrounded one of the civilians. They're going to start killing civilians left and right, and there's nothing we can do about it. I'm on the move. Let's take Shareva 71, and it misses. Of course it does. What is <sighs> this target. nonsense? What the hell is going on here? We got this guy flying way up into the stratosphere. I think we need everything we can get shotgun wise on this side. I'm on the move. Take a shot at the Chrysalid Queen. Probably move up with Kelly. And take a shot there, too. I just don't want to pull either Cyberdisk. Not yet. On the move. 72. Six damage on the Queen. Plus holo targeting. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. We can move over with Kozlova. You're going to have crap shots no matter where I put you. How about right here and take a shot at this guy? Moving to position. 73. No Finally. The cheater is dead. Move up with Vatakari, I suppose. 78. Take it. 6 damage. And a 72. Take it. 7 damage. You have way too much health. I'm gonna two people, three people left. Clark. Can't see anything right now. We gotta move Clark up and take a shot. Queen. That way we can put Solid up shredding. Copy. 90. Nice. 8 and shredded. And I guess Kunkir has to come over and take a shot as well. Same with uh, Geronimo here. Same with Rupa. Uh, Zulu. Ruby Zulu. Grenade's gonna be worthless at the moment. That's affirmative. Eighty-five percent, and it missed because, of course, it missed. Seriously? Targeting malfunction. I want it, Commander. Eighty-one. Eight damage. All right, I I don't know what's gonna happen here. I am not accepting a chrysalid queen just walking all over us. So if I have to reload, I have to reload. But I'm not dealing with this crap. If that chrysalid queen starts just decimating us, no. I think civilians are just on their own at this point. Need to find some new cover. Watch the flanks. Seekers double moved, both of them. Chrysalids staying in the back. That's fine. That's good. Here comes the queen. Yep. Did not do anywhere near enough damage to kill it. 
80% fire. 18 damage. 18. No, no, no. No. Zulu was killed? Nope. Nope. Not gonna happen. On the very first mission that our archer goes on, I am not accepting that the archer died. Nope. Alright, how about this? How about we take... Kozlova... And throw a battle... Up this way, throw a battle scanner... Aye, aye, Commander. As far as we can, straight ahead. Is it enough? I doubt it. That's not gonna go where I want it. Yeah, it's not quite far enough. Revealed the one pack of chrysalids, but that's it. John Thunder, that lid was so big, good lord, no kidding. It absolutely was. That is the chrysalid queen. Big monster chrysalid. It's insane. Well, we've got a few civilians protected, I think. I just don't know where the cyber discs are going to go. Honestly, I think we have to just move and try to get the attention of the Seekers so we can take them down first, so we don't have to deal with them and the Chrysalids all at the same time. Aye, aye, Commander. Enemy spotted. Two stealth and one move forward. Gotcha. Probably shoot with Sereva. Move up and shoot with Batakaria. Good to go. Ninety-one. Okay. Not too shabby. I'm on the move. Kelly, I'm gonna use a battle scanner. Or not. We can't get it over this direction. Why? Why? That's not right. Alright, I get it. I get it. The wall's in the way. you reveal just the cyber disc so the queen uh, chrysalid has not shown up yet i think he's just out of line of sight aye aye commander headed there now i'm on my way Shots here aren't very good at all. Take a shot with Bodhikaria. 91. Four damage. And Sereva, no. Pink here, no. Who's got a better shot? Jeez. I guess Clark? Wish I had taken the shot with Clark first, I suppose. Heading out. Move up and Overwatch. On Overwatch. So we have two Seekers that are still. They're flanking my position. And we waste all of our Overwatch shots on the one. Uh, because of course. Ooh. 
this chrysalid group is just moving next to the truck. That's fine. Here's the queen. And it did not trigger? Oh, it did. Well, that's unfortunate. But at least they clumped up. Yeah, one died from that other cyberdisc pack. The one we couldn't get uh, Battle Scanner on. Yet. I think I'll do it this turn. We'll basically move up here and throw a Battle Scanner that way. I'm on the move. So I think there's one floater, come on, one floater left, a seeker, seeker left. Stop doing that. Oh my god. The, the camera keeps pulling back to our soldier, and I don't know why. See that? I'm just, I've got the mouse to the left of the screen, and I'm not doing anything else. And it just keeps bouncing back to our soldier, and I honestly don't know why. I can't do a battle scanner that way. It, it, it won't let me. It won't let me throw a battle scanner. What is going on? Stop it. Stop! Oh my god. Okay. I don't know what's causing this. I don't know what's causing it, so I don't know how to fix it. Kaloza, uh, Kozlova will probably move up and throw a grenade. Save one civvy if you can. You're good to go. Move. And then throw a grenade. If it'll let me. Oh my god, stop! Rag out. Doing it with the grenades, too. So that's decent. God, I wish I had the Jaeger. The Jaeger would have been amazing. Come on. Oh. J just. Holy crap. Alright, we'll throw another one. Here, maybe? Killed all the chrysalids in the back. So there's, what, two left? Yeah, two chrysalids and a seeker. Vatakaria probably run and gun right here. Why is it... It's, it's even doing it now. Yeah, it's, it's doing it right now. I don't know what the problem is. I don't have anything plugged in. I don't have a controller plugged in, so that's not screwing with things. I don't have... I don't have anything else plugged in that should interfere. Unchained. I see uh, Shen finally deployed the yo-yo grenade he's been developing. Yeah, no kidding. I can't play like this. Let me save it, and then... I'm gonna shut. Uh, I'm gonna shut it down and reload, and we'll try to get this mission back up and running. Looks like he wired it to his yo-yo drone camera. I don't get it. I really, I just don't understand what's going on. If it was, no, I don't want to sync my Steam Cloud. No. No, I don't.
I don't know why it was asking me to sync my Steam Cloud saves. But that's not what I needed to do anyway. Alright. Is a reload gonna fix it? Yeah, seem it seems to have fixed it. I don't know why. But fine. Going in for the kill. Order right here. Burn. On the move. There you go, Batakaria. Take a shot. 86 or 68? Uh, probably the 68, because we need to kill that guy. Um, we have... Why is the Cyberdisc open now? I was going to throw a Battle Scanner. And I really still would like to. Now. Fontaine, move up. What do you have? 69? But I would very much like to get hollow targeting up first. So, Clark. Roger that. Yeah, you have hollow targeting. 79% on the big guy. The big girl. The queen. We'll move up with Kunkir. And then move over with Sereva as well. Heading there now. 81. The Hive Queen. Takes another 9 damage. Nice. Vatakaria. Now you can take your 78. 11 damage. Very nice. And... 72 from Sereva. Seven damage. So if we can get one shot, one close combat specialist shot, we can kill it. Maybe we can kill it now? 79. 79%. Come on. Kill the queen. Yes. Beautiful. And that means I can use a battle scanner then. So let's put the battle scanner right on top of the truck. Probably right in the back. Eyes open. There you go. So now they shouldn't kill anybody else. Yeah, you skedaddle, I know. Only 52 experience for the queen. I know. For that many health, holy cow! Here we go. So we got the last seeker. What about that last chrysalid? He just sat there and, re and uh, regenerated his health. Oh, that's nice. Why? Oh, the camera just went to the bottom because my mouse got moved. Hmm. I'm thinking all we can see now is all there is. So there's one chrysalid pack, one cyber disc pack here, and another cyber disc pack here. I think that's all that's left. Because we killed one seeker pack and we are finishing off the one chrysalid pack here. I think that's it. So... I'd like to move up and then let them patrol into us. I just don't want all three packs at once, and I think we're going to get them. And I'm worried about getting both cyber discs. Especially with very little cover.
Oh, bear with me just one second. I gotta check something. Well, I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Because I really don't want to catch everything on the next turn. Oop. Apologies. I forgot I had my alarm set. Yeah, so... Alright, here's the deal with this. I think, honestly... And I don't know if this is going to piss people off. I hope it doesn't, but I think I'm going to call it right in the middle of the mission here because I need to think about what I'm going to do. And it's going to take way too long. I don't want to just sit here thinking about and planning out the next few moves. Um, plus, I'm starting to get a headache. And I need to take care of that. Um, this is about the time I wanted to stop anyway. And I, I Well, I was going to stop at 9 o'clock. 9 a.m. my time. It's almost 10. It's a little before 10. Uh, so I did go a little bit longer than expected. I think we're going to pick this up tomorrow. Actually, wait. Is tomorrow... Tomorrow's Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, we may not pick this up tomorrow. We may have to wait. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I might pick this up tomorrow. If not, then um, we will pick this up again on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Because Saturday is set up for uh, Soulsborne games. Originally, I don't know if I'm gonna continue that. I might I might continue this game tomorrow because I was out for a couple of days this week and I, ha I wasn't able to stream XCOM. So I don't know, uh, we'll figure it out tomorrow. But um, we'll continue this either tomorrow or on Tuesday. Uh, we're going to call it here. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate everybody who stopped by. I, I really don't want to leave it in the middle of a mission, but I thought I'd be able to finish this before uh, before 10 o'clock, and I'm not. And the way this is going to work out, I, I'm so afraid to pull all three squads. <laughs> so we'll save it here. At least I got that bug fixed. Anyway... And, and we'll call it here. Um, thank you so much for everybody that showed up. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Um, it helps. It helps me a ton. And I hope you guys had fun. Uh, John Thunder, thank you. I love those emotes. That's very cool. That was very cool. Um, nice. Anyway, let's see if there's anybody that we can raid. If there's anybody that I follow normally, or if there's anyone even playing XCOM. So we got Professor Gray playing Fire Emblem, but there are a couple of people playing XCOM, so let's send you over there. Let's send you to somebody who's playing XCOM. Uh, let's see. Here, we'll send you to Superior Mew. So I'm going to play the outro, and then I will send you over to Superior Mew. Thank you for being here again, and I hope to see you again soon. Uh, don't forget to join the Discord if you haven't yet. And anybody, there's the Discord, anybody that has not followed the channel yet, and uh, please do. Kapow and I will love you for it. Greatly appreciated, and we'll see you again soon. Have a great day.